So uh, Chris uh, Cotton at the table, Stacy Blessman, comic, uh, Gino Bisconti. We have, uh, hey, of course, Ben Kuzman's here. But of course, what we want to do is our, another tribute to Letterman is, uh, you know, he had all these major A-list superstars uh, read the top ten list last night. So uh, Mike Boschetti does a lot of voices and characters and great impressions. Mike, do your, <laughs> do your English guy real quick. Hello, Dave. It's a shame. 9.9 .9 million. That's ridiculous because... <laughs> You should have had 80 million. We are an icon, Dave. Because See, that's what I mean. If you close, if you you close your eyes, it's like Churchill. <laughs> it? Close your eyes. It's Was that a so, good album? <laughs> <laughs> Mike did... Mike did Shakespeare at a comedy show. It was so good. He did a really good job. I'm sure it was hilarious. <laughs> so these are top ten things Thanks, I'd Mitch. top ten things I'd like to say to David Letterman. Okay. That was the top and he had all these so so first say the person you're about to do an impression of and then do the impression of Oh no, him. I can't do him. He's brilliant. Uh, well just 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 read it then. Just Alec read. Baldwin or right? Okay, the top ten <laughs> later, top ten things I'd like to say to David Letterman. Just read the name and then uh, all the way down to one. Okay. Yeah. Alec Baldwin, number ten. Of all the talk shows, yours are the most ge geographically. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 use your words, Mike. Use Take it again. Words. Okay. Take it again. Seven words in. Okay. Alec Baldwin. All the talk shows, yours is the most geographically <laughs> convenient to my home. Do you have the buzzer? Yeah. Try one more time. You have the Gino, if you could stop making noise. <laughs> yeah, try one more okay. time. Okay. Alec Baldwin. All the talk shows, yours is the most geographically convenient to my home. Okay, we'll geographically? go. Geographically? That's fine. Geograph it geographically? We'll move on. We'll move on. You know okay. the words geographically, yes. but we'll move on. Number nine, go ahead. Okay, number nine, Barbara Walters. Do you, okay, do you know we, oh, okay. Barbara Walters, do you know you wear the same cologne as Muammar Gaddafi? Let's try it again. <laughs> <laughs> how, how come he's better at Gaddafi than geographically? I, Let's I try mean, it. that's not even a word. Okay. Uh, Barbara Walters, right? Do you know you wear the same cologne as Mama Gaddafi? Well, she, does, she doesn't. Uh, she sang Letterman done. Yeah. Uh, try one more time. Okay. <laughs> He's moving backwards. He said it right but, the first time. Try, try, try it one more time. Man. You know you wear the same cologne as Mama Gaddafi. We're going to move on. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> number nine, Steve Martin. Steve number Martin. Eight. Nine. Number, number eight. eight. Oh, number eight. I'm so sorry. <laughs> He's getting the count. Number bro, eight, so. Steve Martin. Your extensive plastic surgery was a necessity and a mistake. Try to take a pause between necessity and a mistake. Okay. Uh, Steve Martin, number eight. Your extensive plastic surgery was an excessity, necessity, and a mistake. It wasn't an excessity. An uh, excessity is not a word. Try one okay. more. Okay, Steve Martin. Your extensive public... Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, He's moving away from it. I'm genius at cold reading. Believe me. Thank you. Go right ahead. Steve Martin. Your <laughs> extensive plastic surgery was a necessity... And a mistake. We're going to go with I like that. that. We're going to nail that. Go ahead. Good. Number, number seven. <laughs> number seven, Jerry Seinfeld. Dave. Wait, wait, you already, already got it wrong. He up the name. He <laughs> fell out of the game. He's, 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 he's arguably the biggest star in the world. So say his name right. Jerry Seinfeld. No, you said it Jerry wrong. Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld. Right, Jerry Seinfeld. Uh, okay. Dave, I have no idea what I'll do when you go off the air. You know, I'm just a thought of something. I'll be defined. Okay, that's completely, uh, you completely botched it. Okay. Just, I, I didn't hear that. There's a pause, okay? okay. okay. Uh, after off the air, there's a pause, then he thinks. All right, and I'm go. sorry. Okay, Jerry, Jerry. He's an icon. Okay, Seinfeld. <laughs> Dave, I have no idea what I'll do when you go off the air. You know, I'll, I just thought of something. I'll no. be fine. Stop reading what's in the parentheses. <laughs> no, no, no. no. He, he did it right. He did it right. Yeah, I just thought of something. That's that's it. I think it says as if he thought of something. Gino, no, don't no, be no, an no, English no, major. No, no, no. Shut the fuck up. I <laughs> no, he says, I, I watched it last night. He says, I just thought of something. Good. <laughs> nice. One of my favorites, Art. I love him. Try it again. Okay. <laughs> Jerry. Okay, here, yeah, Jerry. That's, this is for you, Jerry. Dave, I have no idea what I'll do when you go off the air. You know, I just thought of something. I'll be fine. Perfect. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I got it. Okay. Uh, uh, Jim Carrey. Number six. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, I've always found you to be a bit of an overactor. Nice. Well, I didn't carry over there you go. so there you we go. can't do that. It's, it's visual. But oh, cool. we're going to okay. get that on one take. That's perfect. Uh, Chris Rock. Number five. 
Do the, the Chris Rock Chris voice. Rock. Can you do Chris Rock voice? Do a Chris Rock impression. I believe you. I can do a Chris yeah. Rock voice. I don't know. I don't, uh, Come on, man. I don't want to be. I, I'm really bad at that. These guys, all right. Uh, hey, I'm gonna, <laughs> I don't need my voice. Just do it. Come on, man. You can do a Chris Rock voice. That's good. But Chris does a great try. I can't, I, I, I never, he does, but I, but I want to hear yours. I never tried Chris Rock's voice. Just fucking try it. <laughs> hey, can I can I have a fr- friend, friend? I don't know. Say I don't what know he wrote. He Say what British. he said. He sounds pretty British. Okay, uh, Okay, Chris Rock. I just glad your show has been given another. Oh, this is awesome, Chris Rock. Uh, I'm just so glad your show has been given to another white guy. I'm honest, that's the worst Chris Rock voice I've ever heard. In yeah, my he's life. never said he, another. Well, he banned it even trying. Another. Try, try to say that as Chris Rock. Chris Rock. I, I'm just glad your show has been given. I don't know his voice really. Just good. keep doing it. Why just do that? Just keep okay. doing it. I'm just glad your show is. In, oh fuck. Sorry, Chris. You can drop a couple in bombs if you need to, just to warm no, up. I don't, I, no, do what you need to do, Mike. I'm okay. here for the people. That's okay, just typical Chris. warm up. Oh, oh, nigga, no. please. Oh no, come on, come on, <laughs> Chris. I'm just glad your show's been given to another white guy. <laughs> that was bad. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, uh, again, yeah, number four. <laughs> Julia Louise Dreyfus. Do, do her. her impression. Go ahead. Okay, I don't know her voice. I know her from Seinfeld a little bit. Well, that's uh, what we all know her from. Nobody knows her from Veep. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thanks for letting me take part in another usually... Oh, okay. All right, sorry. Julia... Really look at it. It's a joke based okay. on something else. Okay, Julia Louise Dreyfus. Thank you for not... Uh, I'm sorry. Thank you for not letting me take part in another usually disappointing series finale. You said thank you for not... Like, go ahead. Say it again. Thanks for letting me take part in another hugely disappointing series finale. Okay, making fun of Seinfeld. Seinfeld. A lot of people thought it was disappointing. I don't. I I, I found the Sopranos ended disappointing. No one wants your commentary. Up. <laughs> okay, that's the uh, joke. <laughs> say it one more time. Okay, hi Julia, you're hot. Thanks. I don't know. I don't know if she is now. I, I watched the show in a while. What the fuck Julia? are you talking about? I didn't read that at all. I didn't see that on the paper. What the fuck are you? Talking that was his about? Chris Rock impersonation hitting on Julia. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Number okay. three. Go ahead. Do, do, oh, Peyton Manning. Awesome. That you were the comedy, but I am the comedy. Yeah, no, that's a joke. That's actually an old Jeff Ross joke. And you are the comedy. Okay, but... Peyton Manning. You are the comedy, but I am the comedy. You are the comedy. What I am. Okay. Pause to comedy. Okay, you are the comedy. But I am the comedy. No. You are the comedy. <laughs> what I am. Okay, you are the comedy. To comedy. But I am the comedy. Right, I'll put it all together. Okay. <laughs> Peyton Manning, you are the comedy, but I am the comedy. Now explain you, the joke. You, Why is that funny? <laughs> you missed your mark. Uh, Peyton's not a comedian. Yes! Ah! That's right. <laughs> Number two. Okay. Tina Fey. Oh, so I love she's she's great. Just I, shut I love up. Tina. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> 30 Rock's over. You're not getting a recurring role. No, no. She's great. She was in your movie. I, I love Tina. I think she's awesome. Uh, she was in Beer League. She's Absolutely. In, she's she in Beer League. Pregnant Tina Fey. Did me a favor. She's okay. in Beer League. Tina, thanks for finally... Pro- pro- oh. Tina Fey. Ooh. Thanks for finally... Pro- mm. <laughs> Tina. Thanks for finally proving that men can be funny. Okay, now try one more was time. Proven was the problem? Proven? Yeah, I, thought it, I thought it was like provoke or something. Uh, no. Okay. Tina Fey. Thanks for finally proving... That men can be funny. Nice. Okay, now number one, bring it home, baby. Uh, he's, he, I, and I, the number one I, thing I'd like to say to David Letterman. This guy's the, the icon of all these people. I love him. Bill Murray. Okay, what does Bill say? I love this. I'll never have the money I owe you. Not what you'd like to say to me. Would you like to? <laughs> <laughs> Do the whole, put it all together. Bill Do Murray. what else Letterman would say. Say, and the number one thing. And I'd the number like one say, thing is I'd great. Like, icon- wait, wait, <laughs> you just, you just and the number one thing that I'd like to say to David Letterman, Bill Murray, go ahead. And the number one thing I'd like to say to David Letterman, number one, Bill Murray, <laughs> I'll never have the money I owe you. Nice! You put it together. Thanks. <laughs> Beautiful. That would have got a 10 I'm not good at cold right. reading. It's horrible. I got to work on it. Well, you have a cold. Yeah. What do you mean cold reading? That's is what, it the reading yeah. or is the cold? Yeah, is cold it? reading, just like picking a script up. And I understand like, what it is. Thank you. <laughs> Did you ever go to a cold reading class? A long time ago. Yeah. I need another one to refresh really? <laughs> Ages ago. <laughs> it was more of a head cold reading. Now, Chris, Chris hides his secret impressions. He does a Keith Robbins. And let's hear your, uh, yeah. let's hear Chris Rock. Okay. Y'all mother... <laughs> the, the pressure's on now. I'm going to be horrible. Y'all motherfuckers is out of control, man. Look at these motherfuckers right here, man. Okay. Well, I got How crazy, is man. Is that so much a rock as much as that's a little Keith Robinson? It's it's a, little a little Keith, Keith Robinson. Robinson. Very Keith Robinson. Maybe a little touch Ke- of Kevin Chris, Hart. Chris, I, I mentioned this before on my stand-up. Rock said one of the funniest things when we were... Uh, Chris just knew the Stern show, and he was so smart and funny, and Howard did a great interview with him once. 
and uh, Howard then said to Chris, okay, let's take some phone calls, see what the callers want to say. And Rock said, here's where I get called a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> First three callers wanted to call him. In. Uh, anyway, uh, great job. And again, Bon Voyage. Does anybody, you know, uh, Chris Cotton is a 28-year-old African-American black comedian. Some might say something. I want to say, does, does David Letterman mean anything to you? And if he does, what? Mm. If he doesn't, that's fine. You're younger. You're no, me, a different me, race than me, David Letterman. Let me figure out my wording for this. Uh, I didn't give a flying fuck. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, listen, I would believe I would believe that, but I mean, come no, on. I didn't, it's not that. I mean, it was moments. I guess he was on TV as a comic. I was like, ah, maybe I want to do letter. He literally that. started on late night TV six years before you were born. So yeah, I understand what you're I saying. I had no connection. I'm more connected to Conan uh, due to the fact that he wrote for The Simpsons, and I love The Simpsons. Well, I, I mean, but Conan. what about his late night show? I and, watched it a couple of times. I don't hate it. Jesus uh, Christ. <laughs> I, I, it's, just, it's just pure racism. This is, it's here? not even. Or now, Sonia Harder, that's a late night show I can get behind. Now, it's just pure it has racism. nothing to do with race. It's pure racism. Reason. <laughs> it's sucked, it I second no, Chris's emotion. I, I'm not a, I like Kimmel, like I said. I love him. He's a man's man. Uh, so I, you don't I, I like don't Letterman or Conan? No, Letterman I love. Conan, I don't, I don't know. I'm in the, Conan I'm is in, brilliant. In the middle. Come I like, on. I like Conan, Conan is a brilliant Conan guy. put you no, on. You were the giant O on his show, as I recall. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, that's right. Oh, and the C was Gene Garofalo. And like Michael Conan. Jordan was both ends. I did decided. used to like Conan a lot. I used to like Conan. I didn't know he was a writer for The Simpsons when I was I mean, a kid, do you guys so want to ever get on a late night show? <laughs> I'm not good at I'm not good at this. <laughs> but no, I didn't what, give a Mike? fuck about Letterman. Well, why are you goofing on Conan? Though? No, because uh, like I said, but who who was cool? I, when I started comedy, we're out of time. I wanted to be on a Shinio's couch in the early nineties. Oh I love just turn his mic off. <laughs> Did you want to scream for the dog fail? Did you want the no, dog fail to make turn his fucking I'm microphone. A Shinio was cool. Oh, he gave great. Stacy Pressman's here. Stacy. <laughs> Stacy is a Brooklyn-born, very pretty female comic. Thank now, Stacy, does Letterman mean anything to you? I think iconically he does. I, I never really like. I think he's funny, of course, but okay. um, I just didn't give a shit. But um, I'm just being honest. But I just, I, if I got that's on, a young I, thing. You don't give a shit. I'm about not that it. young. Is, is it the I'm, fuck I'm the old. world? Oh, you look young. I'm, I'm your age. No, you're not. Yes, I am. So you're 73. I'm three years younger. You're not. You, you, I look 73. You look amazing. How old are you? 44 years old. Well, you Ooh. look fantastic. Well, thank Daddy, you. Daddy thinks you look great. <laughs> a lot of thank you. Going on here. Like I like it talking. iconically. Daddy looks like you can't fill out a police report. All right. <laughs> what about Gino? Uh, uh, what about you, Gino? Of course, your your, your bit is you uh, never get on late night TV. I did. Because you just say ew every time. <laughs> I, what about Letterman? I love Letterman. On. Letterman was the when I I said that well, I grew up watching Letterman. He was the first like I loved Carson, but Letterman was the first guy I felt like I got in on the ground floor of. So I used to always watch him growing up. But then when I went to college, I kind of got away. But he was the one that you I would always opt to back before you had DVRs. It was something to actually. Well, of course, way before but, DVRs. But that's, that's something worth pointing out. This is another. It's not so much Letterman why a guy like Chris is in it. Chris is used to being able to watch whatever he wants, no, whenever he wants, it's well, when I his think, family I think it's cable. the fact that he can't relate to him. I understand. Yeah, right? but I mean, I, I think. Did Letterman, you just bring up the fact that my family didn't have cable? That's what I said. I was you a piece of shit, morning. Gina. <laughs> that's right. He is a piece of shit, Chris. <laughs> yeah, no, I got like Chris Hutchins, yeah, yeah, buddy. You know why? Because Chris is a good man. It's honest. I. Gino's a fucking. By the way, if you're bored later, we're gonna watch Mike wrestle a thesaurus in the parking lot. <laughs> you know what? Though, but we're gonna boil Gino's microphone. But, I've, 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 no, but I've, I've listened to the show and been on it. Thesaurus once it's so Every well. time Gino loves to go for Chris with his his fucking stupidity. What about you? He goes. There, now, Mike, do you you probably do you were you voted dirtiest elbows in Staten Island? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> look at how filthy your elbow. No, they're not filthy. I think look at your elbow on no, your right elbow. elbow. Look at Please. his right elbow. Like, now don't bother. I like it. Like like was a tally. Can you reach with a brush? A brush? I can reach. Watch this. There's no problem, buddy. I'll stand here. That's not your elbow, Mike. That's your ass. Maybe that's why his elbows are dirty. He thinks they're his ankles. I think they're just ashy. Yeah, you're right. She's right. Ashy? Like Ashy Larry? <laughs> no, Stacy's a great person. I, I would walk in Mike, a good friend tells you you have to wash your elbows. I think he needs An moisturizer. enemy says you're fine. No, I'll he needs moisturizer. Fine. Artie, do you have moisturizer for him? Do I look like I have moisture? <laughs> I don't know. This is a very dry I have house. to look by your bed. I don't know. Go right ahead. <laughs> that is a wonderful. Are you married, Stacey? Are you single? Divorced. Oh, Christ. I divorced. Are you Jewish or Italian? Jewish. Same, Same thing. What happened? Uh, my husband. Beat you? No. Piece of shit? Was Tell, him. <laughs> Tell him. Is Tell him. Tell him. Her husband's Gina Biscotti? He was, he was, uh, he, he, uh. He had a little dick? No. Did he have a little dick? Let Gina, you say. What? She, well, say something, she guys. She said he was afraid of her vagina. What? He was like, come on. That's bullshit. So he, he was vagina. gay? 
I don't know. Well, do you do think mean? your ex-husband was homosexual? No, I think he was asexual. He was, he was a very bad heterosexual is what you're Jesus saying, right? Christ. You know, you should talk with those fucking sneakers. You're fucking metrosexual. Uh, you Take a deep breath. Use your Use words. Use your words. Tell them. <laughs> Gino, those sneakers look fucking ridiculous for a grown man to have. Mike, you think, Mike you're, what, what about Mike's dirty elbows and tits? <laughs> Mike, do you even know what sneakers are That should are be for? the name of your book, Dirty Elbows and Tits. <laughs> Like, when's the last time you used sneakers? Dirty elbows. Uh, not them. like those, Gino. At least they have some taste. Those are fucking... Me- oh, Nelly! Me- it's a slugfest. Way, right? Gino, where's your, uh, what do you call it, fake Lululemon pants, you clown? It's a slugfest. <laughs> yeah, where your pants I at, didn't Gino? Know they- <laughs> I'm talking to a lady here. Let's go. Oh, sorry. I didn't Stay. know. They, they fight. I didn't know that because they didn't fight. Yeah, that's we- their bit. I want to talk about how aggressive <laughs> pussy is. No, my, my, I had a husband three. with issues, so, so I got divorced. Now, does Mike, you and f- are friends with Mike, does Mike hit on you constantly? No, we're just besties. Uh-huh. No. So is Mike skinny and puss too? No, we're just really good Mike, 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 are you in the friend zone with her as well? And it's a great zone to be in. She's one of the best women to walk the planet Earth. I love oh. you. I really do. Now, we, pussy I just threw up in my mouth. Do, do Mike, if Mike cleaned his elbows, would he have a shot? No, Mike's like one of my best friends. Oh. Oh. Okay. No, he is I, like but one. you understand that Mike's frustrated with that relationship. No, I'm not. I actually talk to her all the time. We hang how out. Many, how night. often do you pleasure yourself to Casey? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't do that. I've known her an hour and a half. I did it in the bathroom twice. <laughs> <laughs> she just goes, oh, I don't do that. <laughs> Why do you think I keep going up? Take, I get up to take a leak. I'm not on coke anymore. It's a jerk off the stage. I'm in the bathroom constantly with her. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. where that's the lotion elbows got filthy. <laughs> Stacey, now, ben, ben Kuzman, did you ben, see is a, this way? ben is a part-time comic and a writer and a fan. Give, give it to Ben. Go ahead. Give the fucking microphone to Ben. He brought rolls, too. Delicious. What does, yeah, Letter, bro, what, does yellow, lo, what does Letterman mean to you, Ben? One of the biggest things I think about with him is after 9-11, him and Howard, you know? So. Oh, well, I mean, All but right. in, okay, but that's a tragic thing. And in history as a, as a comedy fan, what do you think? I, I, well, I always found him to be uh, – that irreverence that he had, his interviews were always just one step above Leno's at all, you know, at all times. Yeah. So he really, I think, got the most out of every, every moment that he had. So, and, and like I brought up before, honestly, seeing him retire and seeing that show, it, you can't help but think of how Howard's going to go out and how that kind of relates to... Well, I mean, it's a different it's a thing. All around. It's like, I think Howard's last show is, I mean, you talk about four hours, four and a half hours a day. It's such a different meeting. It is, it's a much easier show to do. I mean, Howard, the, the, you break your ass doing radio. Right. Uh, you know, with commercial breaks, you're doing 40 minutes a night. It's, it's a different thing, but... Um, I don't know. I mean, the, the older guys are leaving, and they're paving way for... I, I must say, though, Chris, uh, Chris making a point, clearly a bitter towards white people. I mean, <laughs> you Fuck know, the, huh? the, that not these about? foreign white guys are all getting these jobs, yep. right? yeah, exception like of Trevor Noah. But he's a foreigner. <laughs> I'm tired. Of, I, to be honest, I just don't want any foreigners. We got a billion Americans who are good at fucking doing what stuff. What about South Philly? Aren't there fucking funny black guys in There's, South Philly? There are they don't look a like Trevor Noah. of funny black guys in South Philly. But do you feel the landscape in television does not, is not colorful enough, if I may use that term? You did. For late night? Yeah. Um, I think the problem is people are scared of a black dude's on TV late night. He's going to come to the. You think it's fear of a black planet as a it's, public enemy? He's going to rob him somehow. It's yeah. scared that it's somehow. No, I think. <laughs> Gino, I was, what do you I think? I think there aren't a lot They're of. They're going to steal some th- ratings. I <laughs> would think that a black guy might have gotten that job, and we went with the whitest guy there is, Stephen Colbert. What about broads, Stacey? You think that there's no broads on on TV. Oh well, well, we don't need that at night. Well, that, that's true too. That's it, worse. I think there's going to be a black guy before a broad. There's one coming to TBS, right? Matt Reese actually did a commercial. TBS doesn't count. It's not even. All right, if well, what did what? Uh, Matt Arise, I saw did a he was in a commercial for some woman that's coming that's the only reason I remember uh, and a, he's in a commercial for a woman it's a, <laughs> he plays a waiter and he's serving sausage honest to God and some woman it's on his site guys if you're listening check it out but it's it's some woman is at a party and she's like no I've had enough sausage and then they're like so and so is coming to host late who's night who's hosting late night I can't think of who the girl is I don't know what the hell he's talking about com- I don't either but I, I mean, hoping someone would know but I'm that's saying on the major says. networks there's no female host. now why do you think that is I don't know. I don't know because there's no women don't know there's how to no stand why, for the no same reason the view presidents. and the chew and the reel around during the day. I don't remember asking Gino that question either. I know he interrupted because yeah. he's an asshole. Anyway, <laughs> go watch, go listen to some Jonathan Brooks and Tori Amos. Anyway, um, nice. <laughs> Look at Stace. Go ahead, Stace. No, I th- I think that I don't, I think there is sexism, and I'm not being like oh I'm a female. No, I just think there's like maybe people don't relate to women in that way. I think there will be one soon, but I guess you know we had a black president. You know, now we'll have a... Uh, and, that, and that worked. <laughs> and that worked great. And um, our country's okay. doing great. And, uh, <laughs> and then... Who do you think was better as a president? The half-white part or the half-black part? Probably, what fucked it up? 
They have white porn. Probably. Okay, thank you. That's oh. the politically very PC. <laughs> Samantha B is her name. I yeah. just looked it up. Samantha <laughs> B. Was she English? I don't know. Your guess is as good as no, mine. She's on, she was on the Daily Show. Samantha B. Like the B's? Yeah. B E E. Yeah. Okay. She was on the Daily Show. But that's TBS. It's different. It's a whole nother story. Well, TBS not, is it's major. Yeah, yeah that's good money. Now, Mike Buschetti, give us your thoughts on who should. Like, what do you think? Is it sexism? Is it racism? Why is the TV late night landscape not more diverse? I don't. It, it, for a long time, it was all like white white guys, and then like you know, it's just they got to change the game up a little bit. It's a new place. Okay, so you feel it does need to be changed? Absolutely, because every, not everybody you know looks like uh, Pilgrim Vikings in this country. You know? I don't understand what you're saying. Is anyone uh, wearing a belt buckle on their hat right now? <laughs> I think he no, needs you know, my buckle. What I'm trying to car. say is not everybody is like. White Anglo-Saxon. Absolutely, that's yeah. what I'm trying to say. We well, got to change say. the world up. You know what I mean? It's a new place. Would you Would you consider washing your elbows if you were given a job? <laughs> I would. I would. You know what? I, I almost. I, I. I forgot this about Letterman. I was booked on the show for a sketch. That's a lie. <laughs> no, it's not a lie. That's a lie. Were you playing the D? No, no, no. <laughs> this. Is, same week I got on Howard Stern. I was booked on Letterman. When I got John Stern? When we, when me and John got John Stern? 2005. Me and John got John Stern. You sat him for the news. Yeah. The, the you same didn't week, say much. I was, I was nervous <laughs> because I thought Howard was going to rip me up and tear no, me no, up. No, you have to get over that. Howard did enjoy your company, but it you was didn't fun. say a lot. You didn't attack the situation. No, but the thing is... The same week you're saying you were a booked on Letterman. Yes. You know why I was booked? What happened was Dave got called in for jury duty. David Letterman. Uh, no, he did. <laughs> he was. He was. Got called in for jury. I was booked. Uh -huh. I was booked to do a sketch. That's what they told you. That's you, the no, crazy we waited. Uh, Mr. Boschetti, this is the producer over at Dave. <laughs> Listen, Dave has jury duty. Mike I was is, actually casted to be in a sketch. Mike is being tried for wait, crimes against comedy. Wait, he was casted. He was, Ca casted, was casted to be in, to be in a sketch. sketch but the, the great, is, it's not the great late Robin Williams. It's he was cast. on the show that night. Now, what were you going to do with Robin Williams? Some kind of like talk show spoof thing with him. Now, what were you going to play? Like a, a, a nervous guy in the audience or something like that. I mean, you do sense. that very well. I've seen you do that. No, but I mean, but, <laughs> and it, but the, Dave was running late for jury duty and they scrapped the whole sketch. Stace, have you seen Mike's tits on the, on the internet? Have you seen it? I saw a naked the picture. The picture of the breasts? Yeah. Now, what did you, did you find them sexy? I thought they were interesting. Mm. Are they bigger than yours? You have a nice set on my head. Stop. Don't, don't go there. <laughs> She's... These are real questions. These she are, these are what the people She want has a beautiful know. body. She does. She's Very magnificent. Or not. I'm just pointing out that your breasts might be bigger. No, larger. No, no, I, I might. No, no. Stacy's tremendous. Nice girl. Thank you, Mike. Ah, oh, well, that's right. You guys are a very sweet relationship. Yeah, we're very good friends. He, he talked about the legend before I went to Chicago. She said that we're friends so much. <laughs> no, we have... are very good friends. I mean, I called him. I was having a panic attack, and he was there for me. Have you ever had sex with a black guy? <laughs> I don't remember. I might have when I was wasted. No, no, no. When this, you were wasted, you didn't have a sex yeah. with Hey, wait, there's a bar downstairs, honey. <laughs> oh, real quick. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't Sanity. remember having sex with a black guy. I have sex with a lot of people. I don't remember. I, I, I block oh. mine out at LA, <laughs> at LA County. I had a sex with a half black guy once. Does that count? That's black in my neighborhood. Okay. As long as he was like, dick -wise, black on was the he bottom. Black? Yeah, yeah, was he was black, black dick wise? In my neighborhood, you're not allowed. <laughs> no, actually, the only black guy I had sex with had the smallest penis. Was he black because he, he had a big dick guy. or he was unemployed? Was, what was the... Uh, I don't know. You guys are just perpetuating stuff. He was not black. This guy was... So <laughs> no, he's saying there's he never a black guy that's smaller. By the way, I'm calling bullshit. Since Wait, I hang think, on a second. What, what, what would you say, Ben? I said, uh, he's saying that... Mike's saying that he never hits on Stacey. I'm calling bullshit, Mike. I think you do. You're hitting on her now. He, I they got a he point. Doesn't. Yeah, right. The fist. You're very protective of her, He's too, very Mike. protective I, of I, me. I protective of her because... You know, why, why shouldn't I be? You know what I mean? We went through trauma together. Me, Gina, What is the trauma? What What happened? We had a show. Oh, you had a show. That is traumatic. No, we had a show at a theater. Some crazy guy produced it. Oh, a stand-up gig. Yeah. And Mike and Gino helped me. Get what work. happened? Was a guy in your face? Yeah. And they were like men? They, they saved yeah, you? Yeah, they did. Right, Gino? And uh, yeah, let's say that. Yeah. They and what did you get the money from this guy? He was, he one was of a those scam CD artist. Booker. He, was a, he wasn't even a real Oh, booker. you didn't want to pay you guys? He, 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 he just tortured us the whole time. He's, what an asshole. Yeah. He's one of those guys that's not funny, but he wants to pretend he's funny, so he'll, he'll look at a room. So you were the booker? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I booked this room. And I'm like, Stace, you got to go on in a thong and a halter top. But then Mike comes out with his tits, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is Mike not wearing the thong and the halter top? I don't believe a word of this. Dan, I want to crucify Gino for you because deep Wait, down let, inside. Let him crucify again. Let Mike do what he does best, and that's use his word. <laughs> no, but the thing, first of all, with, with Stacey, 
you can I can love a woman like that. I love, I love her more than anybody who walked the planet. Aww. She's a great uh, friend. I love Mike. He's a good friend. How many times have you masturbated to Stacey? I, 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 you, <laughs> six. You, use your words, Mike. That's a 50. That's 50 right there. <laughs> <laughs> he's stuck. He's oh, red. you're turning red. He's very red. red. He's very no, red. he's very cute. He's so the, sweet. The, the, Do you have any the, shirts to fit? He just came in. <laughs> no, but the thing about her is though, we can talk about anything. I love talking. It over, sounds over like lives. you're very open. I like uh, this relationship. Absolutely. You guys are like a romantic comedy, a romo, a rom com. <laughs> That'd be nice Not if like it romo. ended up like Harry met Sally. That'd be awesome. Yeah, dude. When Sally <laughs> ran away from Harry. <laughs> <laughs> when Harry had dirty elbows. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't notice the elbows. Now, what about the hygiene, Mike? I mean, you should. You should no, I took a shower. I got up. I took a. Uh, Stacy told me I smelled nice. We went out one time recently. Was oh, not today. Asked, was she on the phone when she said that? No, 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 no. <laughs> was she sitting in a bed of paprika at home? No, no, no. Do you really think he smells nice, Stacy? No, he has a nice cologne he puts on. What's the cologne you put on? Obsession for men. Yeah, he puts. Obsession. For men. You, you're obsessed with men? <laughs> where, where, where do you buy that? 1980? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people think that's a hack joke, but not when Gino. No, that. well, it's, 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 it's an original joke. Because I probably from, wrote it in 1980. <laughs> it's an original joke from, from Gino's mouth. Mike, now listen. Do you really use obsession for men? That's a step up from Old Spice. <laughs> yeah. No, I like it. It smells good. What about Old English leather? <laughs> no, no, no. None of that. That's like 270s. How about Brute? <laughs> no, no. Got a little Stetson on. Hi, karate. Well, that's really. Uh, <laughs> and you realize I, well, you, you, have, you have a shirt that says Brooklyn, and on your on you it's a fourteen syllable word. <laughs> no, but I, I got the state because that's where Stacey's from. I love Brooklyn. I enjoy it. Let's go back to the 1980s. You no, know what? I, I bought the shirt because that's where Stacey's from. I love Brooklyn. Too. Oh, thank you. That stalker. That's oh so my sweet. god! No, it's not I bought the shirt uh, because it's a tribute to uh, Stacey. <laughs> look, look! I bought this shirt in case I forget where to leave your body. Uh, <laughs> Stacy, Stacy goes to the gym every day at 4:17 p.m. <laughs> and she leaves every day at 5:23 p.m. Her instructor's name is Carl. He's a bit of a jerk. He's condescending, and I'm going to do something to him <laughs> to Aww. help Stacy. <laughs> Stacy gets gas at the Exxon on the corner of Avenue B and 14th Street. Uh, now, Mike, I know you were getting some dental work recently. How'd it go? Uh, I'm going back to be a good guy. Well, it's good he's letting you take your, take your teeth with you. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I like Mike's reaction when you say, say he's a, like when he's the weatherman. You say, uh, Mike, you're not. You're in Iowa by mistake. He goes, oh god, <laughs> <laughs> oh god, oh god. <laughs> Mike, uh, what about some weather? You want to improvise some weather and impress Stacy? That's what you have to do with a broad impress. No, but she's not a broad. She's a classical woman. Broad. I mean that when we all come from Brooklyn. Oh, she's broad. Yeah. That is a sign My father of affection. Called me a broad. Yeah. That's a My sign of affection. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I just think she's a very super special woman and a Thank great person. Thank you. Super special. You don't consider that hitting on you? He just He's just a really good... I can't explain it. We just have a good friendship. I really feel that way. I bet way. a detective could explain it. <laughs> Mike, I'm going to treat her like garbage the rest of the show. Watch her. She I'll leaves us. You know, don't touch me, bitch. Watch your head this. Will watch be, this. Your head will be on a sidewalk. <laughs> what if someone physically off. attacks Stacey? What would you do? I would choke the shit out of them. Really? Even if it was Les Moonves? Like, <laughs> yeah, who cares? She's, nobody should touch a woman at all. <laughs> yeah. Nobody should touch well, a woman. Anybody you, you're allowed a woman. to touch women. No, but anybody... You made, goes, it, you made anybody the same woman. Anybody hits a woman should have their fucking head smashed open 20 times. What if it's a woman? Would you smash her head open? Say you saw a woman? a woman hit a woman. I don't know what to do. Just let them keep fighting. Like <laughs> that, your head would explode? <laughs> <laughs> let them keep fighting? God bless you, Michael Bichetti. <laughs> what if one had a gun? Would you, do? Would you side with the underdog? If I, you know what, we're going to live once, and I want God to welcome me back home, so I'll, I'll go for it. When's the last time you washed your elbow? <laughs> <laughs> Who's they're, present? They're blacker than my dyed hair, Artie. <laughs> they're blacker than my liver. You know, you know what? They're blacker Gino. than Chris Cotton. Dear <laughs> Uh, it's only a matter of time. Lotion, but, only a matter of time before the wheel of fortune only. spun <laughs> there. <laughs> Go ahead. I might have, I might it's just ashy. ashy. It's ashy. Ashy, no, but, but is ashy sexy? No. No, he has to just put moisturizer. My dad has to do that too. Mike, what about moisturizer? Yeah, my skin needs it really a lot. Ben, do you smell anything crisp over there? What does Mike smell like? I think he smells all right. Uh, but I haven't <laughs> seen a lot of white guys be ashy, though. It's the only problem that I have. Yeah, well, I've never heard of white that. guys. I've never heard of a white ashy. Guy. Yeah, I, I have. I've seen it. Okay, one to one. Uh, you're making you're making that up. No, they get ashy. You're making you, it up to you, make Mike it, feel better. No, no you get. She makes me feel good from the morning I get up, minute I get up till at night. I love Mike. Who's your favorite guy in One Direction? <laughs> Your favorite guy in One Direction, Mike. Your favorite singer in One Direction. One Direction? I don't even know who they are. Mike. That's why you're a man. 
What about your? Who's your favorite new kid on the block? Oh, Donnie Wahlberg's a big guy now, so. Stace, can you go? Uh, Stace just got handed lotion. some lotion. Go lotion his elbows. Yeah. Where'd you get that from, Dan? Of course, Danielle. Dan, Dan. Right. Danielle had moisture. Stace, right. can you go help no, him out? Where'd no, you Dan, find this? No, Dan, yeah, Dan's a good guy up because I had grown Is fond of him. Here? Put the moisturizer Stace, on. Yeah, put, Stace. You put the moisturizer on. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you trying to mask it? <laughs> No, no, I can't help him. Up. He I can't reach his elbow. Right now, Stacy, a very hot woman, is putting moisturizer on Mike's elbow. This is very cute. I'm putting uh, moisturizer. On ba- why do you have baby butt moisturizer in your house? That's for Dan. I don't know. Why is that? Oh, that's date? yours, Dan? The oh. cock goes in quicker. <laughs> do men use this to jerk off? I'm just curious. What no. don't we use uh, to jerk off? Dan I, don't, I, don't I don't know. can show you six things in the kitchen right now we use to jerk why off. Why do you think the vacuum's not working? <laughs> <laughs> Stace, you're not going to help him, Stace? He's doing it himself. He's flying solo. He's That's open, the problem. He's, open wounds. he's that, gotta learn. We're watching Mike apply moisturizer to his filthy elbow. No, no, they're they're dry. They're 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 actually damaged. We're gonna clean this up. <laughs> they're damaged. Out. Mike is damaged. He has damaged <laughs> goods. No, they're Mike, damaged elbows. Mike, do you wash? You have to wash every part of your body. My, my body. No, it's clean. It's just damaged. It's no, damaged Mike, dirty. What about the back of your ass? No, what does that look like? Stay, stay, stay. I feel like I put a good person shoes on. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, She's been a great person. She is hot. She's amazing. Thank you. She goes above I mean, and beyond. This is going on the top no, of his resume. She, she just definitely put lotion on. tried not to touch him the whole time Thank she was doing Stacey, it. <laughs> Stacey, how long have you known Mike? Um, I've known him maybe 10 years. Oh, okay. But we became friends like the last five years. So if he needed his like back, like, like, Lotion rubbed on his back. Would you rub oh. back, like, lotion on his back? If, I mean, if he really needed it. If Mike, I mean, how bad would he have to need it? Like, yeah. like his skin was falling off. <laughs> if Mike put you in a, a dungeon and put a basket down there, would you put the would you put the lotion in the basket? <laughs> While screaming, "Don't hurt let's, my dog, Mister." Let's say he had really bad sunburn because you know he can take his shirt off now this summer. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> really bad tit burn. <laughs> Underneath See, his boobs, not so bad, but on the top of them. Mike, would you, you rub chaf- aloe on him? Al. Yeah, he's my friend. I would do it. Mike, to are you chafing under your tent? <laughs> I don't know, really. Okay, you're in I, position. I, I, I don't know. I don't like to ask questions like this, but as you, yes, you do. okay, as you, is just you, is Mike, and it's James, and uh, <laughs> well, listen, let the, let the question going? happen. Chris, where's this Mike? Going? Mike gets sunburned. He needs help with aloe on his back. James just wants you to rub James lotion on him. James is my tech guy. He just good. wants lotion on him. Who do you rub first? My friend Mike, because he has medical issues. I'm looking at your eyes, and I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Then like Mike James. faints, and she bangs <laughs> James, so Mike doesn't have to watch. Why don't give rub fact, downs? <laughs> what about the fact that Mike rubs you the wrong way? <laughs> <laughs> I never rub her the wrong way, no. because I'm always a gentleman. He's always, a very always. sweet guy. When he's rubbing her, he's a gentleman. We have to get a picture of James so y'all can see the difference here. Uh, Mike, when you sit like that, what happens to your penis? <laughs> <laughs> My penis is always happy. <laughs> really? Good. When did that happen? <laughs> so you said you've known Mike for 10 years. You've been friends for five. He knew my ex-husband and my ex-husband's him? boyfriend. Yeah. Did he give sexual tips? Your ex-husband's <laughs> boyfriend. See what you did there? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, no, I, we were always really good friends. We used to do New York Comedy Club. But you said together. five years you weren't friends. Well, I didn't see him around. Like, I was in my own world, you know. When did, would you finally notice him from across the street one day? No, we just, like, I, I don't know. How do we reconnect? Mike, how, did you approach him? how did you become friends? I just talked to Stacy once in a while on Facebook and oh, once in a Facebook? while. Yeah. Yeah, how did, yeah. We just know it's Facebook shows and stuff. She needed a run. Okay, needed shows. Run. So she did stand up with her. Yeah, she's odd. Oh, she's a great comedian. She does stories well. What's she's your awesome. favorite joke, Stacy? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, she talks about uh, about Tim having a penguin for a penis, I think, or something like that. <laughs> What is she? What is she talking about? I love that. Do you have a penguin <laughs> penis joke? I assume that he's what is butchering the joke. I am. Butchering I hope he's butchering. She's, it. Oh, she's great. She does she stories. Have a penguin. She, she has a stage presence that's phenomenal when she gets up there. That's nice. She's well, well, my I can, manager. I can see that. She does have a charisma. Now, what's your favorite joke of Mike's? Um, about the one he tells about his father that he was mis. Uh, Oh, hide, uh, hide and seek. Hiding right? a seek joke, yeah. Stop telling her the joke. I don't know Mike. the exact joke. When he says thank you a lot, that thank you, he thank, says you. thank you. What is the hide and seek? 
Uh, when I was a kid, I played hide and seek with my dad. He's been missing since 1970. You know, that was even better when Ronnie Dangerfield told it in 1968. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> he did the oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, now, God. Mike, who do you steal most of your jokes from? Uh, Gino. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm not doing well now. Have you ever stolen a joke? That's pretty funny. Have you ever stolen a joke, Mike? No, there's no need to, because anybody that steals a joke should have their face punched out. Are you sure? Because I've heard some jokes that might be other people. No, no, no. <laughs> what if it's a woman, Mike? You would punch your face in? No, it's, that's a conundrum. <laughs> well, I, conundrum. Yeah, one, that's my word. <laughs> what is that, is that I, I taught him that word the other day. Uh, her husband was afraid of her jokes. conundrum. No, uh, the, she said What's that a word conundrum? on tape. What's a conundrum, Mike? Like a, uh, like a cluster F, like a misfortune type thing. Not really. I do the joke yeah, about my what's vagina. The, what's hairs. the joke? Are you going to steal that joke, too, about your vagina? No, no, he <laughs> likes that joke, because I'm not sure if I should shave it or have hair, because one guy likes with hair, the other guy doesn't, and then it's a conundrum. A conundrum. Oh, a conundrum. A no, conundrum I, is a noun, and it's a confusing and difficult problem or question. Yeah, yeah. so that's a problem for a me. Pickle. So this is coming it's from a guy who can't do math. <laughs> I mean, uh, now, ben, go ahead. ben wants to speak about Yeah, me. a couple minutes ago, Mike said that he'd be ever, if he ever saw somebody hit a woman, that you would crush him. But what if you saw Joe Pesci hit a woman? What would you do You to love Joe? Joe Pesci, of course. I would smack that penguin around a little bit. You would. On a check, oh. yeah. You motherfucker! This Keep way. him here! Keep this. that cuck sucker here! <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucking fuck yeah! Look at you, dirty elbow little prick! <laughs> I've been, you've been away a long time, Mike! You've been away a long time, no more shines, motherfucker! Look at your fucking hair, you block. I, I love that when he, when he, oh, God. I am hitting a broad. What's the matter with that? <laughs> you got something the matter with me hitting a broad? <laughs> hey, you motherfucker, keep him here. Keep that big tooth, big chin motherfucker here. <laughs> He's fucking with my girlfriend, Stacy Prussman. <laughs> I like Stacy. I like her a lot. Aww. And I ain't no asexual motherfucker. I'll fuck her ass. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you need, Mike? Moisturizer, you little prick. You're a moisturizer, need a little fuck bag. I'll kick your dick through your twat hole, you little shit fuck. <laughs> Why do you go fuck your ass through your cunt like you little piece of twat fuck? I yeah, you know what I say to him, Mark? Listen. Why do you say, you little piece of shit listen. rag? <laughs> I'll kick your listen, dick through your twat hole. I'll kick your dick through your twat hole. You fucking piece of lint. You lint uh, cock little paint. That better be a, that better be a drop next uh, week. <laughs> that's a big drop. <laughs> I remember when the doctor dropped you on your fucking blockhead. What do you want, Mike? I would, I would tell him, listen, you fucking penguin, bother her again. Penguin? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> listen, you, peck, you overrated peckerhead. Don't make me fucking do something bad. Peckerhead? <laughs> and what, if I'm a peckerhead, what the fuck are you? <laughs> I'm making make one of those eight heads in a duffel bag. You're a fucking ostrich head. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't make me do something bad like my set. Hey. <laughs> nice. Why don't you motorboat some chick? With your tits. <laughs> Look at Brooklyn. He's got Brooklyn on his fucking shirt. I've never seen anything so embarrassing. I'll kick your dick through your twat hole. I'll kick your dick through your twat hole, you little piece of fuck stain. <laughs> so funny. You're a fuck taint little having shit bag. <laughs> now, Mike, so what Ben is getting at is you love Joe Pesci. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, oh. He's always loved Joe Pesci. He has, but if you see Joe Pesci hitting a woman, even you would have to do something to Joe Pesci. And then he calls Joe Pesci overrated and a penguin. Because overrated? Of, yeah. Why is he overrated? <laughs> he's not. I love him because I, Did I you think... you see Gone Fishing? <laughs> no, Great but movie. the thing is funny. Great movie. <laughs> <laughs> you have not seen I've that. I've seen Golf. You I haven't seen with that Hollywood show? Daniel I've seen Glover so much Pre shitty movies. Daniel Glover, I met in Lethal no, Weapon. There was a movie he was in which shows his range as an actor. He was great. Called With Honors. With Honors? Yeah, he I plays, play a fucking homeless retard. We, no, no. He plays a homeless guy, but he's, and he goes in to teach. To, I got no home. He's really, he shows his range. Oh, yeah, him out. and Brendan Fraser. What a great team that was. Oh, Laura I love Kelly. Brendan Fraser. I'm a big fan of his since... Uh, <laughs> Did Mike just say out loud, I, I, I love, love Brendan yes. Fraser? You cut him up before he said Encino Man. I'm a big fan of his since Encino Man. Yeah. Oh. Him and Louise. Yeah, baby. Did you, just man. Say, <laughs> did you just man. say out loud, <laughs> I love Brendan Fraser? Him and Louise. Cool. You're I love Paul, man. You're a 64-year-old man. If you want to talk Encino Man, we can talk Encino Man. What do you I love that movie, Chris. Yeah. Encino Man. I've seen a lot of shit. Who's Brendan Fraser? <laughs> exactly. He's also the guy from The Mummy. Oh, I remember that. Movie. Brendan Fraser? You like Brendan Fraser? You like Joe Fraser, you little fruit? <laughs> him, and, him and the Wees were cool, man. The I love those guys. You like Paulie Shaw, huh? Yeah, yeah. You're a blockhead. Buddy. 
I loved him in uh, Father-in-Law. That was a great movie. He yeah, got, it was called Son-in-Law, you dick. Oh, son in law sorry. You little dick stain having cum rag. No, but he was great in a movie. I loved that kind of movie. He, yeah, you know? right. Dick stain cum rag. It makes sense why I like that shit. Uh, I grew up on it, but you. You what grew out on that. <laughs> but I'm bummed. <laughs> Well, what about, what about... I just like Paulie Shaw from MTV. You like Paul? Yeah. Okay, Mike, why don't you get the fuck out of my house? Yeah. I actually met him, but he was kind of obnoxious a little bit. Yeah, no him. kidding. He's, he's no David Cross. <laughs> what, what, what did he say to you? You're not I, ready for the store? No, I went to... MTV. I saw your set. You're not ready for the store, you little fuckbag. I'm actually at him at MTV with Don Jameson. He worked there years ago. Don Jameson? <laughs> and Another one of your idols? Yeah, I love Don. Jim, those guys are great. Jim Florentine. Yeah, Florentine and Don. Why don't you go fuck your dick hole? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I met him. Don goes to my friend Mike. This is Paulie Shaw. So there's some really hot girls going wow, by. Sounds like a major showbiz moment. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, some hot girls going by in the street, and Paulie goes, Hey, man, you want me to get them for you? Yeah. He goes, I can. I'm Paulie Shaw. Did of course. I'm like, Whoa. And well, so, wait, that, you, you didn't like him after that comment? <laughs> He's like, I meant the tacos. Can you yeah. get those for me? <laughs> he, sounds like Women. A, he sounds like a great guy to hang with. <laughs> Jesus. No, but he was fun. He's cool. I love him because he's the Did ultimate. Did he get like, you the pussy? <laughs> He, no, but he had a lot of hot women himself, though. Yeah, boy, he can't give you some? Yeah. Come he on. can't ste step on a pussy landmine? And get, <laughs> no, like, but it doesn't like work. Like you get hit with some shrapnel? No, it doesn't <laughs> work like that because... You want to get hit with some pussy shrapnel? No, no, because guys are like, dude, I'll go out and get some chicks for you. It don't work guys like that. Guys say that? Well, if you're James, if you look like James, you would get as much shrapnel as you can get. James got lied twice. Oh, like, what, you talking about Chris? Is, yeah, he got Chris is hitting on James. Uh, James, how are you doing today, James? <laughs> James got laid twice Chris while you were talking. says that. James, good looking. James, James is okay. James, Stacy, uh, in this room, I would think if you had to rank, James would be up there and out of this room right now. But you should get well, creepy. <laughs> we know. <laughs> we know. Stacy, everybody? So everybody pull your dicks out. Now, hold on. Isn't that where we're going with this? Oh. Oh. Mine's, mine's been out since she <laughs> sat next to me. <laughs> This fucking guy's got his dick out. No, stop. Who the fuck is this? It almost went through my twat hole when I pulled it out. What's a twat hole? I don't know what it is. It's a word I made up. It's I something, like that. Something your gay ex-husband's afraid of. Oh, no, don't, don't, don't be bashful, people. It's a you know, <laughs> Gina, there's nothing gay in those sneakers. Look at those fucking ridiculous sneakers. <laughs> he said you're gay in those sneakers, you dumb fuck. Everyone at home, look at my sneakers. Oh, you can't because yes. we're on radio. Your no, because sneakers they're look like a squat hole. Hey, everyone listen to Mike's tits. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, you guys. Get jiggy with it. Y'all are getting aggressive in here. Listen, Stacy, how do you feel? Look, look at the moulinon has got his dick out. <laughs> <laughs> Mike keeps I'm talking fine. shit about sneakers. Yeah. Did you see these shoes? I think so. Gino doesn't get money from my car. <laughs> let me see the shoes, Mike. I love these, like, thanks so the shoes. shoes. So I got them made for me. I love them. Look, they just knock a few things over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I like about those shoes? They take attention away from your elbows. <laughs> <laughs> he grabbed them up when he was getting the obsession. Mike, what are you doing? <laughs> ben Hubble. Yeah, no. yeah, ben Hubble. Uh, I didn't even notice his elbows. You're very, uh, you, you know, detailed. I happen to be a metrosexual. <laughs> I know. I would never notice elbows. <laughs> I want Salon Selective Shampoo Level fucking six. That's what I use for my hair. Mike, you got a nice head of hair. I know. I love my I hair. I used to cut hair in Belleville. <laughs> <laughs> remember that? You don't remember shit. <laughs> you Staten Island prick. Why don't you go to Spumoni Brothers for a slice, you little cock? I, lo I love Broccoli Rob. I was talking to something friendly about you. <laughs> broccoli <laughs> Rob, he was my bookie. Uh, broccoli Rob's a little bitter, don't you think? No. It, like a little, put a little garlic in it, it's not too bad. Privalone Pat, he's bitter. Mm. <laughs> broccoli Rob's fine. Now, Mike, do you go to the dentist often? I got to see him soon. Now, what are you going to say? What, what does he say to you usually? We talk about the, he likes the Knicks. That, well, is that why you keep looking at it? <laughs> no wonder he's overcharging you. Well, he likes everything. You know what I mean? Well, he likes to talk about things that aren't white. Yeah. Next, your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually a good guy. What like, isn't white? The Knicks, your teeth. Your teeth. The Raiders. <laughs> he likes to talk about things that aren't He's really a good guy. I love my dad. Yeah, well, what's the, let's talk the things that aren't white. Dr. Krollenstein. The Knicks. Dr. Krollenstein. Dr. Wahoo? Krollenstein. Krollenstein! Oh, that sounds, that sounds like... He's Chris. fucking prejudiced against the ties. He's a Jew no, dentist. No, he's not. He's a good he's guy. He's fucking man. Jew dentist. This day no, I don't say that. That's really horrible. Do you go guy. to him for I'm, some teeth kikening? I'm doing Joe oh. Pesci. I'm doing Joe favor. Pesci. Do me a favor, Stacey. Grab you by the throat and smash your That's not my throat, Stacey. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's your... It's your, pe it's your <laughs> it's his neck, though. That, yes, thank you, Mike. I tell you, you guys got a hell of a comedic chemistry going. <laughs> No, but he makes me angry. Look at sometimes. that elbow. Look at that you elbow. guys get angry with each other a lot? Not really. I just like to fight yeah, with I him. I love him. 
He's just the jerk off that I re- put He's up with. I want to get a, a split screen, a close up <laughs> of Mike's elbow and Chris's cotton's elbow, mm-hmm. and see if you can Let tell who's elbow. Let's see his. I'm pretty, I'm pretty moist. Are you? You're not ashy, right? No, no. We do have baby elbows. What an insulting yeah. fucking thing to say. You're I mean, it's a good question. No, no, no you're not ashy at all. That's a good looking elbow. If you put elbows, look at Mike's elbow there. Are you doing a split screen of elbows? Look at the, look at that. <laughs> I think your elbow is better looking than James's elbow, and we've agreed. First of all, don't you ever bash James. <laughs> <laughs> Cotton wants to fuck the shit out of James Listen, again. Listen, if I have to, no, but Chris is a loyal guy who he likes who he likes. Why so I'm like, are you going oh, whoa, fuck your ass? <laughs> These are just jokes. I don't really want to fuck James. Yeah. James, no, is that I, all right with you? No, but I'm. I'm <laughs> are you guys gay? No, that's That'd what I'm hot. thinking. I would do a movie uh, with these guys, and you know, you, uh, you they would have a mulatto gay kid. Ugh, that'd be so lot Now, Mike, do you? But what do you believe about gay marriage? Are you for it? You know what? Let people do what they want to do. Don't stop people. Unless you're not hurting other people. You're a fucking wonderful person. <laughs> as long as you're not hurting other people yourself, who cares? Yeah, now, do you hurt is. other people? No. Well, that butt fucking might hurt somebody. What about the butt fucking? <laughs> what no. about insensitive cotton over here? <laughs> Chris, Chris is a super smart guy I love because I remember when he first came in on the show smart. <laughs> Super smart Super He's super very duper. nice and super funny and a good guy He's super smart <laughs> Super duper Able to outwit a tall building and on, and, <laughs> With a and, single joke And down to earth More, more than Gino's down to earth More down to earth than Gino We're actually. all down to earth Nobody's right, George Clooney in this room <laughs> Except for Stacey Pressman Alright listen Prick we're gonna take a break Alright we okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get your teeth whitened we're going to take like a break. The, like the Knicks. Mike Buschetti. <laughs> Thank He likes things that aren't white. <laughs> he talks about things that aren't white. The Knicks and Mike's team. All right, Buschetti is here. Ben Kuzman's here. Is that right, Kuzman? Yeah. Ben Kuzman's here, good guy. Comic in his own right. I'm here. Gina fucking Conti. Hey, boo. Gina Bishkot. Close enough. Chris Cotton. Jimmy the Tech Guy. Falato, and of course, last, out of respect, Stacy Pressman Awards. Yo. We'll take a break, come back in. <laughs> All right. We're back. I got to give props to Ben Kuzman Woo. for going to uh, Vidiello's Bakery in Nutley, New Jersey on Franklin Avenue. I grew up on Vidiello's. It was mentioned in The Sopranos several times. Great roles. Ben, thank you. You guys got a mic over there? Yeah. Uh, no, you're very welcome, Mark. Excuse me. Oh, you're very God. welcome. Yeah. I don't want to come here empty handed. Mike does all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, he brought a cute comic, that's all. Oh, thanks. And, uh, of course, Chris, well, we brought a cute tech guy for Chris. Yeah. <laughs> thanks now, for bringing tapes. You know, I want to say this. I, you know, uh, these are my favorite types of podcasts to do because just sitting around <laughs> bullshitting with friends. And I must say, you know, the common ingredient when this always happens is Mike Bachetti. Yeah, without a doubt. <laughs> Thank you, Audie, because but the, it's the magic of you. We're your out room. of time. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, when when uh, when Mike comes in, it always becomes a hang and fun. And Mike, I want to thank you for that. Your thoughts? No, I I have a great time here, and I want to thank uh, you and Mr. Filato. He's a brilliant up producer. I love Dan. I these grew aren't very the fond o- of these Dan. Aren't the because, Oscars. No, but the thing is, I grew very fond of Dan because Gino always likes to break his balls, and Dan, Dan always unmercifully, and Dan's a gentleman about it. Right? Unmercifully? Mm-hmm. Unmercifully. And now, what, what, what? So you're very protective of Dan, is that? True? I am because you know why. I mean, we had our differences in the past. At the old Direct TV show, my friend, you were in some vicious fights yeah. with Dan. Well, you said some cruel <laughs> things. No, but the thing is, really? Dan, Dan was under a lot of pressure. Was TV? We all had a lot of bull crap going on up there, and it's like a lot of bull crap. We had a center up your head. They had their differences. Dan spoke English. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, no, listen. It, uh, it was no, not. but the thing is, you guys were under were a lot more pressure, TV, and all that stuff. Plus, the, you, people were talking to Dan G. F. from L.A. It was like, and other people got a lot of things going on up there. I understand. Three you months do? ago, he was saying how he wanted to beat the shit out of Dan at every turn. <laughs> I know. I'll it was all over up, it Dan. Was, it was all over and Twitter. <laughs> back and forth. You got to pick one, Mike. Do you like Dan? Do you hate Dan? Ben's are you and Stacey friends? Or are you trying to get in there? What's going on? <laughs> I like it. I, like, I, love, I love Dan because you know what? I, like I said, it was a lot different. We worked together all the time, and it's... He had a lot of pressure. People talking in his ear, things went wrong. The point is, they he's talking in his ear pressure. <laughs> no, I'm saying, because they were taped, they were, you know how they've been. Now, cut. recently, you were on Twitter. Again, the anger comes out quite a bit. You were on Twitter yelling at all the people who <laughs> fucked you over in the business and how you're going to come back and fuck them over. Yeah, someday. Explain <laughs> someday. that. Do you want to name any names? And do you want to name the project you're currently working on that will achieve that goal? Oh, no, no. I'm very secretive about that. <laughs> Excuse me. You're very secretive about it? <laughs> Yeah. About the goal. Well, what are you working on? Is it TV? Is it film? Is it no, a play? It's, is it a book? Is it no, a written no, word? It's, it's 
It's it is what it is right now. A night uh, of poetry with Mike Boschetti. <laughs> no, yeah. I guess today's stage. I did I did Shakespeare well. I've been good. I love. Is it, it you and Pressman? Are you guys going to do a show together? I love that. Anytime. And we all I actually. Well, stage, you tell me about your uh, Brooklyn and June. June 3rd is going to be great. Oh, so we're doing one a, a benefit June 13th at the Wicked Monk for MS. Okay. Oh, you nice. are. And okay. I think it's a uh, Mike Ma- for Mary Steenburgen. No, from um, muscular. Uh, no. Muscular dystrophy. <laughs> Mike no, the other one. Uh, muscular sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis. Yeah, muscular sclerosis. The one that, no, yeah. multiple sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis. Oops. And we're going to be doing that with uh, Mike, Joey heart. Gay and Mark DeMeo. Oh, that's oh, good. I would love to come do thank, that. Yeah, thanks yeah. for the invite. Me and Chris really appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't produce that. No, we Chris we actually did a great yeah, one. We all were at. Uh, yeah. My mom, MS? Yeah, my mom died from MS. I'm sorry. Uh, you, did you do it? <laughs> I'm sorry that for your lo- or for your yeah, m- mom died. She, yeah, that's cool. yeah, sorry hey, for your hey, loss. My mom died of cancer. I'm very vulnerable Ooh, here. Right oh. now, right now, we're on me. We're on me right now, Gina. My okay, mom to get died. Her my mom died of her fucking son that got not getting fucked by a hot chick. <laughs> trying to get her on me right here. <laughs> no, um, no. If I would, I what is it? You said June 13th. June 13th, the Wicked Monk. Is, is that, that a correct? Monday? Yeah. I'm going to invite myself. What day is that, Mike? Can you check on your phone? It's Monday. Today? It's a Sunday because Sunday, the seventh is a Sunday. Because it's an early show. It's like a four or four six o'clock, o'clock show. Yeah, I'm gonna stop by. Come on, by the in Bay Ridge. That's I have a, a feeling I'm open. Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. <laughs> so now, what is the lineup? It's uh, I think it's Mike, he's, he's Joey all, Gay. He's first. Who's close? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm not producing. They just asked me. They Who's producing it? Me and Stacey are on it with Joey Gay and Mark Now, Mike, how many minutes do you have on stage? I just I did uh, I did, I just did like uh. 20 minutes like he it was five like, minutes. Up now, with that answer, he five did minutes? minutes? No, I did 20 minutes like it was five minutes up at Liberty Live with Melendez. Recently. Now, is that counting you actually getting onto the stage? No, no, it, it, it was great. I just uh, got to get more spots. Now, so now, what are you comfortable with? Like, in other words, if I came to you and I said, Mikey, I need you to do 45 minutes, could you do that? I haven't done that much time in a while, but I'd have to get prepared. What's the most you've ever done on stage? Like 45. And when was the last time you did that? Oh, a long time. It's just been give, us a, give us a president, a year. Uh, I, I think Gino was still in diapers. <laughs> was the president one now? Was the president white? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that's yeah. more than eight years. Ago. Yeah, that's been a while. Yeah, yeah you well, know, he, we've had a black president for almost eight years. Yeah, we. Uh, yeah, he was a white guy. I'm Were t- your yeah. elbows white or black? Yeah. Uh, Gino, stop. You can be more original now, Gino. You're beating a dead horse now. Shut the, you know, come up with something else, Gino. Stop it. Around. Now, what, what, what could you do, uh, like, uh, time-wise, Mike, confidently? What could you do? At least a half. Yeah. A half? You could guarantee me, if I said, Mike, you mean you, I need you a half an hour, you could guarantee me a half an Absolutely. hour. Absolutely. I'd kill for a half an hour. Because you no could problem. guarantee his safety on the coast. <laughs> you want to talk business? Let's talk business. No, I can do it. No, not a problem. It's very easy. Stacy, do you uh, vouch for that? Uh, yeah, well, he, we're doing a show at the Peculiar. You know pub. what happens in the mob? <laughs> no, I know. When I you can, vouch I can for vouch someone it. and it doesn't come my... through, you get killed too. I know. You I'm going to gonna vouch for my. The Peculiar cause... Pub on Bleecker Street. In the no, village? no, we're doing a really f- nice place. It's a dinner and a and a show. It's forty dollars. Mike's or doing the dinner. Forty-five dollars. Gina, yeah. let her talk. Let her finish. At thirty this. Uh, Center Street, a huge town, Pennsylvania. At this really cool gourmet place called the Peculiar Pub, and they have some crazy food. Well, there's a Peculiar Pub yeah, in, uh, on Bleecker Street. Oh, there, maybe it's the same one. Well, I, well, it had all different types of beer. Uh, it's the same sponsors we had for my taping. Thing. And that's the MS that guy. The three guys in a beard. They, they had different. Uh, they had 200 types of beer at the Peculiar oh, Pub. Wow. And the old joke we used to do when we were kids: we'd go in there and we would say uh, we would make up the name of a beer. We'd say, "Do you have Glockenspiel beer?" And they'd go, "No." We'd go, well, "What do you have?" They didn't have to give us 200 beers. Oh wow! It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. That's a good there. idea. Mike, have you tried? Oh, that? I would have been French with you, then. it would have been awesome. Oh, if they don't have the beer, they have to give you. No, they have to name two hundred types of beer. Oh, because they had two hundred types. I would of have beer. loved to have been in those days with you. It would have been fun. I'm glad you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were in the Marines. No, but oh, the thing well, you is, were Marine because we were talking. Some comics and I were at the comedy cellar last night. We were discussing whether or not Mike Buscemi yes, was Yes, I was there in Paris yeah. Island for six weeks. A Absolutely. Marine or, or an army? a Marine? No, Paris Island, South Carolina. And now how long were you there? Six weeks out of the head. And the why were you let go? It was a mutual decision that I left, actually. You're the only person where they said, listen, it's better <laughs> off for us and the country. <laughs> the Marine said, it's not you, it's me. <clears throat> now, what happened? No, it, Gino's right. It's not you, it's me. What happened? Why did you come to that decision? <laughs> they just, like, I, I gave it my best, and they just didn't think I was right for it. <laughs> now, what was your best? <laughs> I loved it, though, because I, I was telling Stacy earlier. You, you had a nickname. Did you ever tell anyone Space that? Space Cookie. I wrote it on. Now, why did they give you that name? Okay, uh, 
my, my combination lock was messed up from the minute I got you it. Took up, right? You took up space when you ate a cookie? No, no. <laughs> uh, my, my combination lock was really bad. Your locker was bad. Your foot locker? The combination lock itself. Yeah. Right? It was fucked up. Why? It, it just malfunctioned from the minute I got it for some reason. No I really kidding. Don't know why. You got a malfunction So I, lock. I'm, I'm in this squad bay in my underwear, still trying to open this thing. That right? sounds good. Open it. Everybody else was in the chow hall eating. Right, uh-huh. so my drum these people, people back could eat. Me. These people could eat watching you open a lock. No, no, in they're the in, the, in the chow hall eating. Right? <laughs> could you <laughs> imagine? See, you're eating. You already shit food in the Marines, and you look over and you see a 22 year old Mike Bachetti in his underwear <laughs> trying to open a lock. I would no, no, spit the chip beef out of my. This, this, <laughs> was, this was separate. I would right? throw up the but chip beef. He, my drill instructor came back for me. He knew I was, you know, because I wasn't there. What is your major malfunction? No, he, no, grabbed, he grabbed me by the throat like Full Metal Jacket. They what's allowed throat? to work on what's people next? in those what's days. What's next to the year? Sure. Top, then he just works. goes, Space Cookie. That's what he said. <laughs> the name just came out of So him. he made it up. Yeah, he goes, you're ruining my Marine Corps. Next time it will kill you. Said that's a said great him. name. I think that's a great. You, it is a great. They should have turned Space you into Cookie. Captain America. It's, it's I wrote so one person show about it. They should have gave you the serum and turned you, you into Captain America. You <laughs> would have been a great Captain Space America. Did you, Cookie. Did you consider uh, blowing your head off with a rifle while sitting on the toilet? No, I want. I, 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 <laughs> like most of your audience no, does. <laughs> no, I. What do you call it? I. Uh, I got messed with for a minute. I got there. Paris Island. It was brutal. Now, what would they make fun of? You're slight, no, being slightly no, overweight? The minute, no, cut. I wasn't overweight at the time. I was in good shape. I was right out of high school. What would almost. they make fun of? Your eyes? No, I got off the bus, right? We are supposed to run up to Yellow Footprints. Was it a short bus or a long bus? A long, long bus. They, now, wait a minute. They made for your Yellow Footprints. Yeah, here's what happened. I'll never forget the, the whole story. The drill instructor that came on the bus, right? Now, let me finish. Seriously, right? No, I want to hear the whole thing. Yeah. This guy was like, first of all, he was like, his shoes were like mirrors. They were po- polished like mirrors, right? His pants were like an arrow, straight as an arrow. He was like built, but buff. He got on the bus. And Sounds he like a fun guy. Exact words. He goes. Was it James? He goes, no, no. He goes, you're now property of the United States government. You're now in the United States Marine Corps. You have three seconds. So he said bus. they own you. And, like and, a slave. Yeah. And he goes, and two are gone when I leave. So you had to run up these yellow footprints, right? I took my time. I figured, let everybody else go first, and I'll follow them. Right? <laughs> nice strategy. <laughs> Channeling his inner Bill Murray. Yeah. Right? So we get I'm off the bus. I'm pacing myself, Charlie. Yes, That's a great line. So we get off the bus, right? You run up to these yellow footprints, and when, you, and when your name is called, you're supposed to say, sir, yes, sir. So uh-huh. I was so nervous, I went, yes, sir, right? So uh-huh. these were the exact words. He goes, who's the dick sucker that got a cock off down his throat and said, yes, sir, instead of sir, yes, sir. He looked at me and he went, was it you, Liberace? He said, <laughs> it was Wait, really, he right? said dick sucker yes. instead of cock sucker? <laughs> I like this And guy. then he called you Liberace. <laughs> and, then, and then the other guy comes over and he goes, what is your name, malfunction? He said that to me. He goes, he goes, really? like, he goes like this. He goes, your name is going to be Milton Bradley from now on. We're going to play so many games with you, son. <laughs> nice. nice. Now, what happened? No, but this was, this was good. the, the and guy from reception, right? He's That's 15 more minutes of your act. No, right there. These guys were in reception, right? These weren't even our real drill instructors. My real drill instructors were Vietnam vets with were in the Tet Offensive. They were real badasses. Right. Well, we lost real. that. We lost the Tet Offensive. So when I met them, <laughs> right? What, ha- uh, what happened was one day, by mistake, I said good morning instead of afternoon to a drill instructor. He gave me holy hell. <laughs> Why? Because you woke up in the afternoon? No, I was walking in, in Paris Island where I go, sir, good morning, sir. He goes, he goes, it's afternoon. What the hell is wrong with you? What do you mean morning? He's not even my own drill instructor screaming in my face, right? Mm. He goes, I'm going to teach you a lesson about telling time right now, idiot. And he right? grabbed you by the cock. So he took, he took his, his like, kind of <laughs> like plastic watch he had. He goes, this is your punishment. You're going to be the official timekeeper for the 3rd Battalion. And every second you're going to have to say what time it is. They I were got late a for the war. Oh, the 3rd Battalion was never on time. <laughs> now, so I'm walking back and Sorry. forth, right? He goes... Your, your name is going to be Big Ben. So I had to walk back and forth and go, I'm the official timekeeper at 3rd Battalion. My name is Big Ben. John and were stopping to laugh at me. They go, he's an example of what not to do <laughs> right after that. So... But it was, Were you voted best storyteller in the... No. Uh, my drill instructor? I jumped out of bed with a full uniform, actually. Why? Well, my drill instructor inspired us, right? Did he you was, shower too? No, he was talking about the Marines and Iwo Jima and stuff like that, right? So I had Firewatch... Which meant you had to watch nobody was messing around, like in you know what a flashlight. They gave you Firewatch. Yes, Stacy, do you believe any of this? Do you What's Firewatch? I don't know. Brian Crotch. Do you, do you that believe is. that he's saying this in front of you to make you feel? No, like they gave that. me Firewatch, right? No, so I believe. I think the story is true. I think he, he, I'm walking around doing Firewatch, right? I don't know so I said to myself, What's what? Firewatch? It means you had to make sure nobody else is fucking up, or just like with a flashlight going through the barracks, right? Like a like make a sure guard. the dudes aren't fucking. Is that what you was doing? Yeah, or you yeah. were, you were on fucking watch? No, they, and, they, anyway, they would make sure he would watch. 
watch people set a fire. So, so what happened was, <laughs> I thought as an individual instead of a unit, which I learned very quickly, you don't in the military, right? So I figured, let me impress him, right? Let me. You thought as an individual, you were being selfish. But you think as a unit, Dad. But but, but they make you an individual and a leader later on from that because. Huh? And the thing is, so I figured, let me be one step ahead of everybody else. So I just fell asleep in my uniform to be prepared. Everybody else was in their boxer shorts, right? Yeah, but doesn't your uniform get really wrinkled? It got wrinkled, got crinkled, had like jelly stains on it, right? So <laughs> Why would you eat jelly in bed? I had the same question. I had right? the same question. It got wrinkled. They had, listen to this, right? Jelly. They called us out of bed in the morning. I jumped out of bed with a full uniform. With Where did jelly. the jelly come he from? He got it covered in I, hepatitis. I, I, I took a lot of stuff. Well, my listener. You right? ate in bed, Mike? Were you eating yeah. in bed? Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, you know, so you got fat in the Marines. No, but Chris, listen what happened. So I jumped out of bed. He goes like this. Space cookie. He goes like this. Who on God's art created you? He's screaming at it. He goes, he goes who is your recruiter? He's going to be the first Marine we shot since the Civil War for crimes against the United States government. Well, listen. Meaning he recruited you. Has anyone ever understood these stories? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Listen, I, I, this, this is a news, uh, news uh, breaking right now. Uh, uh, bin Laden, they found in Bin Laden's papers a love letter that he wrote to one of his wives. That's hilarious, one of his wives. <laughs> yeah. uh, you, we, uh, we want you to read it, Mike. Oh. Can I read it in his language? <laughs> read it as Bin Laden. You can read it definitely as Bin Laden. This is Mike, this is Mike Pachetti as Osama Bin Laden reading okay. an actual love letter Bin Laden wrote to one of his wives. Do we have romantic music? You are the apple of my eye, and most precious thing I have ever had in this world. Well, that's more Sri, Sri Lankan than him. But, uh, just, just do it. Just start over. That was okay. good, Mike. Perfect. Uh, yeah. That is not insulting or offensive at all. Okay. That. You are the apple of my eye, and the most precious thing I have had in this world. We marry. We marry uh, oh, sorry. We marry me. after my death, but I really want you to be my wife in paradise. And let me remind you that a wife who has married thrice is given a choice on the judgment day. Nice. Wow. A little good, man. I'll be honest, my dick moved a little bit. And not because of what Stacy's doing for a change. Mike, read, read it as an English guy. I didn't yeah. understand what that letter meant, actually. Because <laughs> life in this. Fucking nuts. He's a terrorist. This is Mike as an English guy. Okay, Arthur, because you are the apple of my eye and the most precious thing I ever had in this world because Mary, after, oh no, I fouled it up. Wait a minute, let me start to start over, because, Osama. Okay. <laughs> you are the apple of my eye and the most precious thing I have in this world because. We marry after my death, but I really want to be you to be my wife in paradise. And let me remind you that a wife who is married twice is given a choice on Judgment Day. I love you, baby. Oh, you just added the last part. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Now, Mike, read it as an obese comic from Staten Island. <laughs> <laughs> you are the apple in my eye and the most precious thing I have in this world. <laughs> we marry after my death, and I really wanted you to be my wife in paradise. Let me remind you, this is a wife who was married twice, given a choice on Judgment Day. Yes, Mike. Good job, Mike. Bravissimo. Mike, have you ever written a love letter to a woman? I have. I've written Me too. Did uh, you? Can I do an Italian? Go ahead. Italian yeah, action? Okay. I'm sorry. What do you call it? I thought it'd be great. He's You're here. the apple of my eye, and the most precious thing you have in this world. Because uh, I'm married after my death, and I really want you to be my wife in a paradise. But and let me remind you, a wife who's married twice is a, a butana because you never cheat on a meal. <laughs> right. So you had a butana, of course, the Italian word for whore. Yeah, you butana. Yeah, I, I killed the guy that married you. That uh, you butana. Butana in Jewish, it's crossman. <laughs> Now, Mike, what's your favorite <laughs> racial slur? <laughs> Mike, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, uh, let me see. <laughs> what do you call it? Uh, be honest. We're all, all, all going to do it. We're all friends here. We're all friends we here. We have to all say I like answer. making fun of the Irish. Well, what, what's your favorite word, anti-Irish word? Ah, oh, you goddamn Mick. Oh. I, do. I like making fun of the Irish. They're the niggers of Europe, right? Oh. Oh. Jesus Christ. That's double. You see can't have did. two favorite words. I did there. Oh, see what daddy. I did. <laughs> see what I did? Yeah, now, but Stacey, no, but Stacey, have you ever said anything racist during sex? <laughs> Not during sex, after sex. <laughs> what have you said? You stupid Arab. Oh! You've had sex with an Arab? My you husband said was a... Uh, what? You stupid Arab! Now, is this why he was asexual? He was half... He was Arab asexual? <laughs> he was half uh, Arab and half uh, Norwegian. It makes him impotent, but... Um, oh, my God. <laughs> Did you keep saying... Of, keep a hard-hitting word. Keep drilling, Arab. You haven't hit oil yet? Did you ever? No? He never Nothing? hit the oil. He had a small one. <laughs> Now, when he jerked off, he always had a towel to wipe his No, I have to, funny story about that. I have, this is a story I have to tell. Um, after he would you have to tell ejaculate, yeah, I think you'd appreciate this. He would put a paper mache peanut, he would take a paper towel and wrap his 
stick a, with a paper towel so the uh -huh. sperm wouldn't touch anything. And he'd leave it so on for hours. What do you mean clean? That is so oh, because they can't smell any seed. No, what it was like it? a paper mache penis. <laughs> why Why would he do that? I don't know. It would get really hard, and then he would take it off, and it would be this hard piece of... Did you ever hear him put a catheter in? <laughs> I would... Here's me, putting my catheter in. <laughs> 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 Ouch. I'm so glad he got the catheter in. You think the funniest thing? You ever hear him put a catheter in? I knew it was... Was, he, was he Muslim? Was he Muslim? <laughs> no, he was Baha'i. What the fuck is Baha'i? I don't know. He was behind me? <laughs> Baha'i. He was like an um, uh, Iranian. Mike, did you Iranian ever meet him? Yes, I, I actually knew him before New Station. Why is that? He was a comic since like the early 90s. Oh, let me tell you. He was you a comic? Something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I just flew in from Baghdad. And boy, <laughs> boy, are my arms tired. <laughs> oh, could I, could I, I am so Sri Lankan. I tell you, I'm Sri Lankan. I like the Sri Lankan each. Sri you Lankan sound like what? a mumbling, <laughs> stuttering prick. <laughs> I think that's the most racist thing. I, I like the Sri Lankies. Yeah, you're all, you know what? Let me tell you something. The New York Sri Lankies? <laughs> yes, they're nice. They now, let me ask you this. Mike. Sure. Do, do you feel that your accents are racist when you do them? No, I'm, I love people. I'm only breaking... I didn't say anything stupid about people. You said so you, on, on our old direct TV show, I'm like, I have to correct you. <laughs> you said a lot of anti-Semitic things. No, because remember Barry Sobel said, brought remember it when you, Remember when you said you have Jew lips? Oh, Barry Stace, Stace. here's what happened, right? <laughs> Stop explaining to Stace. He, yeah, told, yeah. he told Barry... And Stace is Jewish, that's why. No, oh, but Barry went to high school as well. telling Barry Sobel, he told Barry Sobel he had Jew lips. I supposed to, supposed to be a guy was, was, I, like, was he hitting on Barry? <laughs> no, no. I didn't know Jews had like specific lips. No, because I was, what, Mike what, does. What, I, meant, <laughs> I, I meant to do a sudden action and say julep. What a julep. Right? Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, I know what a Jew tip is. Nothing. <laughs> no, I meant to say mint julep, right? The julep. Mint julep. Like so like, I went like this, mint juleps. And it, I said it like that. And they, they thought Jew it was what I said. You said it like a, a clan <laughs> member from Arizona. Yeah. His first black accent, it was just that scratchy voice talking about, let's go get some fried chicken. I know, let's hear, let's hear your black accent. Hey, man, get some fried chicken. Fried chicken. That is the, like, Jesus I mean, Christ. Does sound Why like was cotton. fried chicken in the mix? That I like love it. fried chicken, though, <laughs> man. I don't see, but if you did, then what, what Chris is saying, let's hear the point. If you do a great black accent, you don't have to make a black reference. But I love chicken, though. No, I love yeah, it myself. Say something else. Say, say don't say a black reference. Say something a black guy would never say. Like I didn't steal your car. I, I wonder if you two are. Jesus uh, Christ! Am I the only one? When Mike talks, I find myself getting hypnotized. When he was uh, telling uh, that story about every day in the Marines, like he. It was a great it. story. And if I hypnotize, getting, like, if you, I hypnotize you mean being bored? To like, yeah, he like sucks you in, and then like, you get like. Mike, what's your favorite story to tell about the old neighborhood? What do you? I mean, you, you know, you tell great oh, stories. Oh, this is really about true. Your, your you brothers are leaving tacks on the floor and then waking you up. Okay, <laughs> there was just. Uh, oh, I'll tell you about that. What do you call it? my brother? No, well, do uh, tell the story. You're gonna. It's a teaser. He's teasing out the second. What do you call it? Okay. Uh, what do you call it? Okay. My friend's my friend's father was a bookie when I grew up. I had no idea he was a bookie. The story's we already bullshit. <laughs> no, he's a bookie. I'm a, Staten Island. All the great bookies. I had several bookies from Staten Island. Absolutely. And I didn't really know that as a kid, right? So I get a job in a deli. Well, you're 22 years old. <laughs> I, know, I get a job in a deli with all these like. You pump. worked in a deli? Yeah. Did the guy break even? <laughs> <laughs> I have to say. A lot of missing bread. <laughs> no, so. Bread's <laughs> <laughs> the tip of the iceberg. No, Chris is right, though. A lot tip of, of the like, iceberg lettuce. A lot of boards, boards had cold cuts were missing. All day. <laughs> well, Who ate a, the whole turkey meat? <laughs> you're a boar with a big head. Did no, they give no. you free lunch when you worked in the deli? Yeah, they were nice. didn't know it, but he did. <laughs> <laughs> no, but so. All these punks in the neighborhood wanted to be wannabe wise guys from Staten Island, right? So, oh, I'm a wannabe wise. So one day I'm working in the deli, right? Give me some provolone, blockhead. Now, I haven't seen this guy in a long time since childhood, right? right. So obviously he moved up the rank of, for Bookie to something else. What was he? Right. Leg breaker? No, no. Maybe Money even better. So he walks in, right? Shylock. All, these, all these punks are hanging around. He's a punk. He comes over to me. He kisses me on the cheek like the Italian. He goes, hey, Mike, it's been for, how you doing, right? I go, good. And then we're talking, and they go, they were terrified of him in the neighborhood. They go, is he still, is he friends with you? I go, he's a very close friend to this day. I scared the shit out of Nobody ever picked on me in the neighborhood because of that. Nobody bothered me. Mike, say this again slower. What happened? <laughs> this guy you didn't see. I walked in a long time, right? So they go, that everybody in the neighborhood was scared of him. They're like, you know him? Right. And I go, very well. I'm super close to him still. Right. Meanwhile, I haven't seen him in years, right? right. So that was a good uh, thing. So these punks were like, they respected me. They didn't bother me. Nobody uh, broke my balls about anything, right? you were in with this guy. They thought I was. So the Italian guy next door was like, you're a friend of his? 
I went to pay for food. He goes, no. How did you say it again? He goes, you're a friend of his. You're right? a friend of his. Yeah, you're a friend of his. I go, yes. And he goes, I go, great friend. He goes, from now on, you pay for no food or no nothing. Wow. wow. That guy went bankrupt. <laughs> I heard this story before. It's called Godfather 2. We worked in the deli. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, that's a synopsis of Godfather 2. Vince Worked in the <laughs> deli. You didn't know the black does hand. Does Ben have a point? Are you stealing no. the story? No, no, Godfather. not stealing it, but there is a story with some money. Are you being Francis no. Ford dope <laughs> No. So no. my friend, me and a young Bruno no, Kirby. There is, there is a, there is a uh, Martin <laughs> Bors, no, Martin Martin Bors- hazy over here. Mike, can uh, you tell us a story about when the guy threw guns through your window? <laughs> you held him to Let repay me. him. He gave you a free rug. The guy said, I'm coming up. <laughs> No, this, this is a true story. I worked in a gas station <laughs> by myself at night. It's already bullshit. The gas station no, jelly. Let me finish, a good resume, right? Mike. Go I worked, in, I worked uh, in a gas station. Let me finish. It's just a true story. And I, I love this guy to this day for it. Right? Did you pump the gas? Yeah, I worked there, <laughs> That's right? That's hard. I worked there yeah. in the deli, right? In a gas station, right? <laughs> station okay, this, I had an argument with this guy the night before because I was busy by myself. I didn't want to give him gas. The street, <laughs> place down the street was a local connected guys on the store down there, right? There Did like, you have gas? No, let me finish, all right? Yeah, yeah. They're like three brothers. One was like a muscle head, <laughs> but was a really good guy, right? So this guy comes back the next night, pulls a gun on me during an argument. Wow! No, the guy that had an argument with, right? What kind so of gun my, was it? No, yeah. He had, a, he had a 38 revolver, so I know my gun. It wasn't so a ketchup guns. gun or anything? No, no, or let, let me Circumcised gun. Can you help me with this hot dog? So yes, I got a ketchup guy, gun. Let, finish. let me finish, right? So this, this connected guy came in and at that time and she was going connected on. Connected for the wasps out there means someone knows them off. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, anyway, oh. Oh, he seen what was going on. He pulled this guy aside, right? I don't know what he said to him, but this guy came over, he apologized, and said, I'm sorry for what I did. <laughs> Just, you told me this story. He, told, right? he saved my life. But you know what happened to the other guy? They whacked him out pretty badly. Wow. I'm wow. sorry. He wow. died? They, they ground him up in like a meat kind for of machine. For insulting you? No, no. For other what people, happened? he did. I don't know what, what he did. did other do? people. Probably what? owed money. Uh, well, 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 if you owe money, they keep you alive. But I told my mom that, and I go, <laughs> I go, I feel Excuse bad me. that they killed him like that. She goes, Well, look what he did to you other get, people. Ki- you get killed for disrespecting, for being a rat, for them thinking. You don't for owing money. They give you time. Yeah. They might no, break a leg, break an arm, but they yeah. want the money. I felt bad. He saved my. He did save my life. That guy. That's you know scary. What I mean? You think he saved your life? Would you have been killed in that instance? Uh, that guy had a gun. Who knows what he would have did to me? I'm serious. It was a fucking crazy maniac. <laughs> but this guy just put this guy stood up for me, and those guys do. They don't, well, they don't, what the I matter? What the matter? Why you pour gun on retard? What the matter? No, no. <laughs> No, you, no, you, guy, you. I love those kind of people, really. You know, I, I mean, would fucking stand up for you too, Mike. Dan knows I, I'm, Al Capone's my idol. I wish I had his money. Well, that's true, Al Capone. That's another thing. As an Italian American, I think maybe some other people could be your idol. <laughs> well, uh, there weren't too many idols to look up to in those Lee days. Lee Iacocca. Well, I mean, when the days in you those days up, you grew up, Iacocca was around. Mario Cuomo was around. How about a guy named Joe Pepitone? Mario Andretti. Uh-huh. How about a guy named Mario fucking Andretti? Columbus is a villain, so we can't claim him anymore. Peter Falk. Oh. How about Francis Albert Sinatra? Yeah, well, yeah. Francis okay. Ford Coppola. Martin <laughs> Scorsese. Joe DiMaggio. No, but Al, it the time. Bridge. You fuck. <laughs> what about Dino, those fucking guys? Dino Franchetti banged Ashley Judd twice. What Murder. about Brad Pitt, yeah, you yeah, motherfucker? Yeah, but I like Danny that. Danny DeVito, you cock-looking dick uh, Al didn't take any crap from people. <laughs> you cock-fuck he brick bag. <laughs> He's taking any shit from people, though. <laughs> brick You're bag. a brick bag cock <laughs> Yeah, fucking dick nobody ever, pick, nobody ever picked on Al. Who? Capone. Nobody bought it. Well, they did it when he was young. That's what got him so angry. Kevin Costner arrested him. That's why... <laughs> that's why you... Excellent point. That's why you became a successful comedian. Because you got back at the people. You I know. got back at the people who teased you. Yeah. I can't Capone wait. became a billionaire bootlegger. I know. You became... Uh, a comic who makes up to four figures a year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Dan, Dan will tell Are you. Are you talking about out. his cholesterol? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that could be a show for him where he drives around Staten Island finding the people that picked on him. <gasps> well, he's got getting a out of the van. and a driver's license. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? The people who picked him are already in work pit lifting a finger up over now. My what God. are they doing? The people who picked him are already in work lifting a finger up over well, now. Well, he's what Ben's saying to get back and to make fun of him. In fact, expose them for being the assholes that they are. Your thoughts? I like Yeah, oh yeah. I'd like to, I'd like, I want to build a castle in the south of France. Well, now you're, talking, now you're talking like stupid. Right? Yeah, I think the show Name will be a city like in the south of France. Don't you start yelling out, I want to build a castle in the south of France. You might get taken away by the white No, but you know what? I, would I ha- want to build a castle in the south of France. I'm, okay, <laughs> we're going to take it to Bellevue. I would hire the French to throw dog shit at people over there. <laughs> I want to hire the French to 
throw dog shit at people, okay, sir. But they'll be throwing it north, because I'll yeah. be in the south of France. Now, that's, name a city in the south of France. Name one town. Niche. Well, that nice. is correct. Wow. Name another one. Nephew. No, don't give me signals, Gino. I'm good. Thank, I appreciate it, though. Normandy. Yeah. Well, wow. that's good. Wow. Name He's better than me. Name one we oh, didn't really? land on. Wait, Nice, Normandy, what else is Normandy's there? Uh, South France. Normandy's a beach, right? Okay. Normandy, invaded Normandy, that's right. Uh, Angio's in Italy, I'm sorry, I ruined that one. Italy? Nancy, uh, oh, wait, what Angio. You, what you Anzio. Out? What do you drink out of? No, stop, Dan. Stop. Oh, uh, Don't a goblet. Them a trough. A trough. <laughs> a, a toilet. A toilet. <laughs> a spackle bucket? <laughs> oh, what do you call it? Spackle bucket in France? Make lush. A gay guy's asshole, friends? <laughs> a ga- oh, a, oh, Champagne is a town in France. Stacey Pressman's what? <laughs> champagne. I think Champagne. Now, Stacey, what if you were both drunk That's on the road? Let me give you a scenario. <laughs> what if you're both drunk on the road? Okay, uh-huh. it's you and Mike in a Hawthorne Suites in Vernon Hills alone. Oh, Hawthorne? <laughs> you're doing a Tuesday through Sunday bid at Zany's. Who books that? <laughs> around, thir- around Thursday, right by Zany's. Thursday afternoon, you both have a blood alcohol level of 3.8. <laughs> Mike, make it a four. Make it a f- even Mike, four. Uh, Mike comes over to your room and asks you where the ice machine is. <laughs> dick out. Before you know it. Hold on, I'm going to do my pants. No, dick is in. <laughs> dick before is in. You know it, before you know it, Borchetti has cornered you with his filthy elbows. <laughs> but he's got long sleeves on. <laughs> Corners you and says, do you have the time? <laughs> and when you look at your watch, he stops you and he says, the time to get to know me better. <laughs> <laughs> and then goes to kiss you. How do you react? I'd probably vomit. Not from him, but... Oh. Not from him, no. I mean, I was so not wasted. Said. Oh. No, not from Mike. Well, why would you say that? I think that's, oh. I think that's the end of the show right there. I think that's the show no, right there. I, I, we are out of time. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight's top ten list from the home office in Vernon Hills, Illinois. Top ten things a woman would say if Mike Buschetti cornered them in a room. <laughs> Wait, come on. Don't no, say No, no, I meant that. You didn't let me finish, because I, when I get drink too much, I vomit. So that was why. Okay, suppose there's no liquor involved. Oh. Same exact scenario. Oh, no that's liquor. different. No, roofie. You got two. You got two shots. I was roofied last summer. Anyway, I want to talk about. Were it. you? Yeah. Was yeah I sorry roof? about that. I went out with a guy who I think was gay, <laughs> and um, we went. This is a, we went so to a you gay were out bar. With Marchetti. Right. <laughs> and uh, we went to a gay bar after a break of straight. Oh, party. that's your first hint. <laughs> and I know a place called, you know, man, manhole inspectors. <laughs> and next thing I know, I, I passed out. Like I don't remember a thing. And he passed out. We don't remember a thing. And you woke up in Richard Simmons' condo? <laughs> yeah, I woke up naked. You did? But he, what? But he had clothes on. Oh now, there's Mike's God. breasts. Okay. Oh, that's Mike? Did you that's see your Yeah. <laughs> Mike, that's you? What cup are they? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's not Mike, is it? That, that's Mike. Two weeks ago. Mike, that's really you? Yes, that's yes. you. As, a, fr- as a friend, Stace, would you tell Mike to post that? No. Mike, I don't think you should post that. <laughs> I, no, I, I like his weight loss. Um, I think that's. A, I thought that was a girl. I for because it has curves like in the. In the Voluptuous. Yeah, yeah, Mike. Volu- Mike has a nice Mike, body. Mike, how do you react to her reaction? No, I'm being. I didn't know that was Mike. I had no idea. I Why thought you would. You, you would. Do you, you now secret, that, do you now secretly hate Stacy? No, is that no, a fake pic? Is that a fake picture? No, it's not. <laughs> no. Swear on your life. Look, <laughs> swear. Look at the Facebook underneath. Look at the read it. Mike Bichetti. <laughs> th- you said you saw it. No, I saw the one with the, with the, with the star one. outfit on. Yeah, the moo moo. The moo. The, yeah, I didn't see that one. No, I did not see that one. Mike, don't post the picture. If nope. I posted pictures. Okay. Very excited. This I, is the first woman, time in years I'm not afraid to take my shirt off. We'll be 24 <laughs> months tomorrow. I get super healthy. A special thanks to Irene Bremis, great comedian. Love you all. I mean, he, he lost gonna, weight, but he no, should have popped show, out I the No, I like tits. that he's showing his, his stomach. <laughs> I think I think I think he's posing where he, it's like what I do when I try to give myself cleavage. Why are you thanking oh. a comedian, Mike? No, I reach married. Oh, she's but why are you thanking her? She's the one that helped him work she, out. She, she does trainer. personal training. She's a good friend of mine too. Well, yeah. I don't know if I'd thank her. Did, <laughs> no, no, she shaped, she did. No, you should be proud of your body. I am. But don't pose you it got, naked. You got a lot healthier, man. You did, and that's very hard to do. It's no, very hard to do. It's true. I, now, I, do you plan on liposuction? No. That's that's for wimps. I don't know. No cut opens. None of that Frankenstein shit. Well, that's good. But I think you know. I consider it. Let's Why? See, if, I took, <laughs> if I took uh, a thing with my shirt off, it would not be pretty. Take your shirt off, Artie. Well, I'm, I'm saying I wouldn't do it. It's disgusting. <laughs> do you have breasts like that now? Would you ever do the band? Not quite like that. But I think no. You know, I think Mike, you're posing where you're emphasizing your breast, like rather than. Do that again. 
Like he's Thank emphasizing. You. I don't Thank mean to be you. perverse. Oh, I'm just saying. I didn't oh, mean. Oh, Gino. I, oh, I Gino. think I spilled some hepatitis. Was I too, uh, <laughs> sex, no, I, I have no boundaries. But you know, like you just kind of you shouldn't you should go like you this said more. you <laughs> saw that picture. I thought you meant the picture with him with the stars on. That's it. a fair question. Gino, yeah. my eyes are up here, Gino. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, Stacy, how does it how does it look? <laughs> Where's that paper mache? <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant like Mike. Was like giving himself cleavage. Uh, yeah, like, you can't do that, <laughs> Daddy. Like, like a woman. Like Mike, you gotta go like this. If you're gonna pose, like you gotta go up and back, up and back, not in and together. She's hot, Mike. You're right. I have a she's show in Milwaukee very hot. next week. <laughs> she's very hot, Mike. As hot as she is on the outside, she's amazing on the oh, inside. Thank you, Mike. Can you say one more thing about her insides? No one gives a fuck. Yeah, how oh, I do. Oh, how do you know about her insides? I talk to her all the time. She's one of the best women I ever met. You mean her insides like soul or this? I'll soul to, and hard on. We'll have to get her drunk and take a peek inside. No, don't be a dick, you know. What, what do you think we're going to take a peek now, at? Now, let me ask you this in all seriousness. Have you ever met someone in the business with a better head of hair than Mike? Look at his hair. He's got great hair, doesn't he? Yeah. Do you no, don't take great. that? Do you dye your hair? Yeah, yeah I dye very it. nice hair. Oh, he yeah. see, What about Gino's hair? Gino what about has Gino's? nice hair too. Yeah. Doesn't Gino look like he dyes his hair? Do you dye it? No, look. You Does can he, see he has life. enough gray where you he You should do a head off, Gino. Yeah, why fix your hair? I like You're a fucking mook. Yeah, take it <laughs> He's lazy. Head. I like my hat on. You're lazy. You don't got to buzz about anything. You know what? We're not paying because we don't pay mooks. And this guy is a fucking mook. You're suspect. Do you really? Do you really? Mike has nice hair. You really dye your hair? But he has nice they hair do a good muscles. job. They Mike, do a good job. You got a great head of hair. You do. Thank you, you really Mike. do, Mike. I, I feel like, uh, yeah, I think I do. You do. <laughs> what do you weigh these days? Because you lost a lot. Of I weight. haven't weighed myself a lot. It's not how much you weigh. Wellness is not weight. See? Yes, it is. <laughs> no, she's right though because she just gave an incredible lecture. It was amazing. I talked to. Oh, it's, it's chick, awesome. Oh, chick giving you. a lecture is my favorite. <laughs> no, she, you got to watch her. She's, no, I do it professionally. I don't do it. A forty-four-year-old Jewish broad from Brooklyn lecture. <laughs> Call no. me there. What no, were you talking uh, about? Were you talking about racism? Convince me that success is not <laughs> TV. No, uh, That's she's, what I need no, to no, stop it, Gino. You got to listen to her speak. Stop You're it, Gino. <laughs> don't embarrass I'll me. I give you this. <laughs> God. What, what, what is that? It's Cork a can opener. opener. It turns into a shiv. What the fuck does it look like? <laughs> a wine opener. You fucking mumbling prick. We fucking smuggled all these and they fell off a ship in Port Nork. You understand what I'm fucking saying? Put that in the thing and pull out the I cord. I put it in a fucking thing. I come out of a made guy. Pike's Peak was a fucking pimple back then. <laughs> when you got made. I cried when he died. That was just a sad scene. When Pesci died, when the murderous <laughs> yeah, psychopath, yeah. sociopath, who uh, what, killed in- children and women died. <laughs> You were upset about that? In casino or for honors? You have the with honors he dies. <laughs> but you. were you uh I was I was happy when Brendan Fraser dies at the end of with honors. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Gorilla, is that McGilla Gorilla? McGilla Gorilla's awesome. McGilla McGilla. Chris Gorilla. is right Gorilla. here. He can hear oh, you. That's I don't like terrible. this going. I don't like this going. <laughs> I don't like this. OG. <laughs> He's on the item. Here uh, we go. Said You're OG. Gorilla Original gangster. OG. Oh, oh McGill Gorilla for sale. Won't you buy him, take him home, and try him? I love that song. That's very racist. <laughs> no, but it's, it's. Buy him, take him home, and try him. Well, I didn't write it, though. They're actually. Who you crazy? The fuck writes that in uh, a song? Well, Chris, I Walt didn't write Disney. it. I have no idea. People Walt from Disney, like. That's a, <laughs> what was, what no, was Walt is a ra- Oh, are you kidding me? Walt was a piece of shit. You yeah, loved, you loved Absolutely. Him, but you did like it. No, I didn't. Walt was. Anti Semite in the race. What you had dinner with him? Me, me and Walt. Yeah. <laughs> he watched. Disney you realize watched every Disney every movie, four. somebody like somebody dies, a parent or a brother, or yeah. a, it's dramatic as shit. It's fucked up. I know, well, how about I that know. movie with uh, Prior and Cle- the toy? Oh, oh no. yeah. Hey, yeah, the black yeah. community yeah. really toy. got on Prior for doing, but he needed oh, money. He got paid a lot of money. Toy was toy was entertaining, but it was fucked up. Man. I never saw that. Well, so, it, it, Richard Pryor well, literally plays a toy for a white kid. But a movie, Glory, is a good movie. The fuck are you talking it's about? It's not really a Disney movie. You're, now you're just bringing up movies. <laughs> no, I know. I watched that movie. Matthew Broderick. What do you call it? Disney. Yeah, Matthew Broderick is the boss of Denzel Washington. Yeah. In a Civil War army. The no, scene where they dance is What I'm amazing. trying to say is people never knew about that regiment until they brought it to, to life. That's what I'm trying to say. They fucking knew about it. Yo. What are you, like a Hollywood motherfucker? Everything's yeah. from fucking Hollywood? I, you learn everything from fucking Hollywood, don't you? Yeah, but oh, you're I, a fucking phony I, Brooklyn. I found sap. out all the stuff from Re- Columbus was a villain. He was a fucking pirate, that moron. Yeah, no shit, you prick. <laughs> you're a mumbling, stuttering prick. So is General Custer was an egghead. How do you feel about Scar? From <laughs> I know he bring up Custard. <laughs> Mike should teach you history class. Uh, he was a pirate. Uh, Custer was an egghead. <laughs> no, think about Are you it, kids writing this down? <laughs> no, Mike, Scar from The Lion King. What's your emotions on? The Lion King? i never seen it, really. You never seen the Lion King? It's a guy who's the king of lying. <laughs> <laughs> I, I loved the movie uh, Aladdin. 
<laughs> All right, Mike, take it. Easy. <laughs> Aladdin? Somebody I love, land him. I love his... his, his, his oh, God. Was that starting... Uh, she was only a cartoon, but she was Mike, beautiful. you are a mumbling I think your husband was in there, right? Fucking twaddle. <laughs> Jasmine. Jasmine, right? She was right my there. favorite of all the princesses. All right, guys, so we're going to wrap it up. Ben... <laughs> No. Ben, you got any plugs? No. Yeah, or you just keep uh, talking? We'll keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> We're having fun. Let's keep talking. I don't care. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> well, Make, ben, not to you. <laughs> <laughs> just have Mike tell well, one we, more story from Ben. Mike, you have any other growing up stories? Because they are good. The fans love them. Sad, sad one about my, my malfunctions with women from age six. I mean, you're going to tell, right. tell a story and we're not going to laugh? There's a difference. Uh, okay. See, already, this is bonus. Got it. I had a crush on this girl, Teresa, who was like my age. How old were you? I, six. Oh. Teen. <laughs> she was like six years old herself. That, that's okay. Wait a minute. Fine. Six years old? Yeah. You yeah. like girls like early that? on. You Absolutely. had a crush on a six-year-old broad? She was six years old, too. We both the same age. Hey, Artie, what are you, a fucking nut? I'm but, telling you a story. Am I not telling right now? <laughs> but she had the tits of an eight-year-old. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> okay, so I really had... I guess the tits of an 80-year-old. <laughs> I really... <laughs> Yeah, I really had a major crush on her, right? So one day I went to a house. Of course you did. Mm -hmm. She couldn't come out. She was being punished. <laughs> she slammed the door. Why, and goes, if she was being punished, let her go out with you. Mm. That sounds so harsh. No, she, no, she slammed the door. Good. and goes, I can't come out. So I got all upset, right? Tripped in my shoes, fell down a flight of steps, Ugh. right? Cut my tongue in half. I hate when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> You've compensated nicely for no, that. Huh? You and cut your tongue in half. This half? is Karate Kid again. <laughs> It's karate kid. It's karate no, no. cologne. No, no, it's not. It's not. I, cut my, I had to go to speech class for years because of that. That works. Did yeah. you stand on a, on a, on no, a rock? No, it's no joke. It did, it did happen. That's bad, Mike. I didn't so know what that. happened? I had, to, I had to get my... Did you sue the speech class? No, I had, my tongue was cut in half. I swear to God. And then now, you uh, then learned how to up. fight karate? Did you sue the six-year-old girl? <laughs> no, she got married years later. I don't know what happened. Well, I hope years he later. He gave her a bonsai plant that he'd cared she for. Got, for she her got married. Oh, here, here's the... <laughs> she okay. got married two years later at the age of eight. <laughs> Hit, oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Bin Laden. Just, just, die at spin just a song from... That was a letter on Tom Bin Laden. You got a gorilla for sale. Magilla, gorilla for sale. Won't you buy him, take him home and try him. Gorilla for sale. What the... You Fuck want a little Mike. gorilla? You can call your own a gorilla when you when you when you're all alone. Magilla. Oh fuck! I just screwed it up. But punch you, pinch him, take him home, and lynch him. Mr. Peebles was, was a, a villain, actually. Yeah, no, say, sing that again, Mike. Sing it again. Try to put passion. Okay. Uh, really commit to. It. Okay, let me start. Hold on, Gina. I'm not. I'm not. Gorilla. I'm not Pavarotti. <laughs> you just built like him. <laughs> okay. Where does it start? Oh, wait. He's not uh, Pepperotti or Willie Wilson. Call it. I'm trying to wish, figure out. Maybe if you can oh, sing it with the where song. Where does it start? Where does it end? He might need the music. All right, Mike, listen. Oh, I'm going to cal calm everybody down, please. Everybody calm down. Be quiet. Now, Mike, the floor is yours. You're gonna, this is Mike Pachetti singing the theme song for the classic 1960s and 70s cartoon, Magilla Gorilla. Go ahead. Okay. We've got a gorilla for sale. Magilla, gorilla for sale. Won't you buy him? Take him home and try him. Gorilla for sale. He's an ever-loving doll in a monkey suit. That's what he used to say. This is wrong. I think. I think. Sing the fucking song. Okay. Uh, we've got a gorilla for sale. Magilla for gr fucking gorilla. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Let me start this again. Use your words, Mike. He's one second away from saying the N word. <laughs> no, I'm not. I never say that word. That Just word's fucking do talk. What you need to do. Baby. Okay. We've got a gorilla for sale. Magilla gorilla for sale. Won't you buy him? Take him home and try him. Gorilla for sale. Don't you want a little gorilla can call your own? A gorilla who'll be what you want you all alone. How much is that gorilla in the window? Take our advice at any price. A gorilla like Magilla is mighty nice. I love Magilla. What do you call it? Uh, <laughs> I don't like uh, this song. Oh, no. That's it. I don't like this song. Is that it? <laughs> yeah, but I got a better song. Like, yeah, the mate, was a mighty sailing man? The skipper, brave and short. Six, five passengers. That's sell that ship for a three-hour tour. A three-hour tour. <laughs> Hi, you've reached your Bochettis. We're not here right now. Yeah. <laughs> Leave a message or Mike, what do you what call it? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Jesus Christ! That that song was the most recent song I've heard in a while. Now mm. Miguel Guerrero was a big cartoon. Uh, I can see. Uh, what was that on? What I, I don't. I'll Hannah be Barbera, honest, I don't remember like that show. It was on Angel Dust. Mike, give us one more story yes, about your child. We're going to go out with you. One more story about. Sing a, great, sing a good one, Mike. 
Okay. Do you have not, anything based on be best a, of the best? There's not going to be a song. Story. It could be a story. Oh, can I sing a song to Stacey? I'll make something. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Perfect. Perfect. This is the way we're going to clear the room can, again. Can you turn and face him, please, Mike Buschetti. Turn and face him so he can get his inspiration. Right. Mike Buschetti will now sing to the adorable comedian Stacey Prussman, who's here. Oh, Mike. That's so sweet. Tuck your, tuck your hair behind your so he can see your eyes. Oh, tuck your hair behind so he can see your eyes. Then get a good good inspiration. Take a, yeah. I'm nervous now. Don't be nervous. You're awesome. Hurry the fuck up! Okay. He said the rap art. I have a friend rap? named Stacy. She is so fine. I'd Aww. love to stand and look at her until Grab the end of time. Her. She's a doll like no other. And I would love to be with her forever and ever. Uh, 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 I got nervous. Sorry, Stacy. That was great, Mike. Start over again. Okay. <laughs> I have a frame, Stacy. You have a frame, Stacy? No, start over. Sorry, Stacy. Oh, can I sing it like Richie Valens? But yeah, do whatever the fuck you want, but sing it. Oh, Stacy, oh, Stacy. I know a girl named Stacy. She's so fine. She's a great friend, and I wish she was mine. And I love my Stacy. Where, Stacy, can you be? Where can you be? Thank you. Oh, Mike, that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah Mike. Oh. Oh, Mike, I love that song. So Mike, who are the ladies? Normal, Normal friendship. Ladies. You are like the Barry White if he was white and not a good singer. <laughs> that was a beautiful song, Artie. That was beautiful. That was really wonderful. Right. And he didn't mess up once. It was Do you like, think you could repeat that again? Can you remember it? You just did I know one? a girl named Stacy. so fine. She's my friend, but I wish she was mine. And I love my Stacy. Stacy, where can you be? He... Where can you be? You know, that song's catchy like malaria. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, Mike. Thank you. That was Mike's beautiful. Good, it's man. catchy like the HIV virus. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nice. Uh, Mike, any plugs? Well, no, yeah, you got something else? I always tell Stacey how great she is. I spill my guts, so I don't give a shit. I'm that's a lot of spilling. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, Mike. Uh, Stacey, can you plug it? You'll do, she knows the exact information we got coming so up. So wait, you're going to let her plug your plug? Yes, show? absolutely. We're doing the same Stacey stuff. Stacey Prussman, go ahead. All right, Mike and I have the pleasure of working together a lot. We have we have a mm. show in, uh, in, that, in um, an evening of Peculiar Comedy, June 3rd, 2015. At the Peculiar Pub in Pennsylvania, guys. Get your tickets at Hughestown, Pennsylvania. Uh, it's catering and there's food and $45. 570-947-2548 for reservations. And then June 13th, we're doing the uh, MS show. Uh, and we're going to help people. And that's at 4 o'clock at the Wicked Monk in Bay Ridge. How much are you pocketing for that? <laughs> I'm not booking. The, the, the other Mike, one. Mike, you're pocketing. No, money. charity. I never take the money first for charity. One because that's a, you, you know what? You're helping others. Go fuck yourself. No, I don't think that was you a can't take money for charity. Well, never. When we get out there, I'm going to ask you who's doing it. I want to come do it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, come do it. Ben oh, Kuzman. It'll be fun. We'll Any talk. plugs for Ben Kuzman? Yeah, uh, just follow me on Twitter, B underscore Kuzman. I follow Ben. He's a good guy. And um, again, film on Netflix, my buddy's film, uh, Severe Clear. I almost forgot. Cool. Oh, for a second. Good. Check that now, out. Does that have to do with the uh, what pilots call Severe Clear? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he was, uh, Severe Clear is what 9-11 was. It's a perfect yeah. day to fly. Severe yeah, it's clear. a great film. It's he a brought pilot his, term. He brought his camera over overseas uh, during the conflict, so it's just unfiltered, unadulterated. Wow. It's right, awesome. on, right on the front line. Cool. So, And Artie, thank you for having me here today. Anytime, Ben. Good job, Awesome. Change. Would you like to plug anything? No, you're good. Okay, Gina, what do you got? Uh, <laughs> we're doing uh, the Grand Opera House in Delaware, June 6th, and I'll be at the. It's amazing how that's a highlight of your career. But <laughs> gets worse. I do the Starboard, which is a great drinking bar in Dewey Beach, Delaware. Yeah, Willing Wilmington, 16th. Delaware. Me and uh, uh, what's your name? Gino. Gino. We're Coleman. doing uh, the Grand Opera House. Yeah, it's Grand yeah. Opera House. You're thinking in, Nashville. In Wilmington, Delaware. Sure. June 5th. 6th. June 6th. Look for us there. Anything and else? I'll be at the Starboard on June 16th Starboard. in Rehoboth, in Dewey Beach. I love That's it. a fun drinking gig. I love Gino. Gino's a good man, and look for us. We're going to have fun. Christopher Cotton, what's up? Uh, tonight, which is Thursday night, I'll be at the Cutting Room. In, uh, Thursday night. Yeah, ten, ten, <laughs> Thursday night. <laughs> Thursday tonight, night, which is Thursday night. Thursday, Thursday night. night. At 10 o'clock show, uh, Aaliyah Janine is promoting it. Uh, Lisa Ann, a huge titted porn star. Lisa Lover. Ann, she's good she's there. Lover. She's, coming, she's coming by to hang out, but this should be fun. Uh, Who's got bigger tits, her or Burchetti? I'm going to say Burchetti. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> it's a tight race. As a uh, woman, Stacey, seeing Burchetti's tits, do you recoil with disgust? <laughs> Um, she threw up in her mouth just now. I was looking at her. He threw up a little bit in her mouth. You didn't believe it was him. I didn't believe it was him. I didn't. That's enough said. It is what it is. Again, it's uh, it's uh, Thursday night. Fr Thursday night. Friday, I'll be in uh, Westchester, PA, Carolina, at C-Mac. And 
uh, fucking what is, fuck Saturday. I'll be in. I'll be in uh, back in New York. All right. Uh, at Cotton 215, Twitter, Instagram, Cincy Cotton. I didn't ask you what you're doing the rest of your life. Dot com. Delato, thank you so much for another great week. We are, and tell your friends to go to Ad Artie Quitter. You'll see my gig with, Good times. Uh, with of course, Gino and other shit. Uh, Join Periscope. I'm all over it. Uh, who? Periscope. What's that? New that new app, Periscope. Periscope. I was, I was recording. It's, I was recording. Said, it's live he streaming. He said Periscope. <laughs> Periscope. Uh, all right, well, we'll, we'll, we'll try to do it. We'll do it. Uh, we'll I'll record it a few, a little bit. I appreciate it. I don't know what the fuck it is. I don't care. It's good. I'll be dead in 10 years. Uh, <laughs> no, all right, listen, I uh, I want to thank all you guys for another great week. Chris, of course, all the guys, Gino. Stacy, pleasure to see you. Thank you. Pleasure to see you as well. Uh, thank you for fa- having me. Come back, please. I would love you to. You and Marchetti are good together. Mikey, <laughs> thanks for bringing Stacy in. And Mike, thanks for, thanks having for me. always being your charming. Stacy, you're the best. And we'll wrap the show up. I <laughs> love you, baby. I love there you. There you go. There thank you, you for go. having me. Dr. Dan Pilato, thanks. Uh, James, thanks again. Listen, guys, we're taking Monday off. It's a holiday. Happy Memorial Day. Take off. Uh, honor the veterans. And uh, we'll probably be back Tuesday. And uh, we'll see you there. We're rolling along. Artie Quitter Podcast. Letterman.